Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I'm trying to do math. I'm trying to do fucking math right now. Yo, what? Yo, what? Yo, what? I think we did it. Holy shit. Hold on. Wait. I think we did it. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Holy crap. Just waiting for the fucking sub number to refresh. I think we did. I think we got the sub slot, guys. Just before, just before sub Mageddon. Holy shit. Thank you so much. So, man, I got a lot of people to thank. You guys are insane. I think we did it. I think we unlocked our fifth emote slot before sub again literally in 30 minutes. Guys, that is so fucking generous of you. Thank you so much. Holy shit. I have to check. I have to check right now. Make sure we got that fifth emote slot because the, the sub numbers don't there. Uh, give me five. Give me. We did it. We did it. We did it, everybody. Thank you so much. Five open emote slots. So fucking generous. Thank you so much, guys. Literally, the sub numbers are going to drop by 200 in the next probably 30 minutes to an hour. You're going to see a big ass drop. So I did not think we were going to hit five emotes. I didn't think we were going to unlock the fifth emote slot. But holy shit, that is amazing. I got a lot of people I want to thank before we begin because that was an amazing fucking push. Conrad Bear Jew just uh, cheered in uh, 10 subs. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Conair on DVD with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much for that starter pack gift and 20 subs guys if you got gifted subs for any of these make sure you thank them uh tagging on with the 25 gifted sub push that's amazing uh tier tier tyrion thank you for the um tier one sub for two months uh sort of shadows of the five gifted subs cody x716 the tier one sub welcome to rack pack jam man thank you for the 10 gifted subs king fissure with the 10 gifted subs conrad aaron dvd again with five gifted subs uh giuseppe with a tier one sub VI, VA no magician with a tier one sub. Thank you so much. Twitching pickle gifting 20 gifted subs. Look at these fucking champions, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, GL Matt, one, two, three, two, one with the prime sub. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Darconius with the tier one sub for three months. Starter pack with the 20 gifted subs. Fucking another 20 gifted subs for starter pack. God damn. Uh, Wing Kitten coming in with a tier one. Welcome to the rack pack. Uh, Otis Law with the two gifted subs. Conrad Bear Jew with the tier one for three months. Anonymous gifting 10 subs. Uh, thank you for that. Jesus. Baker with the five gifted. Wing Kitten with the two gifted. Uh, Jam with the five gifted. Starter pack with a thousand bits. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lazy Shy Guy gifting a sub. Yo, yo, yo. Later, Lady Demon P uh, Penguin with the tier one sub for two months. Extremely Garbo with the prime sub. Twitching Pickles with, with, with another 20 gifted subs. My God, so fucking generous. Uh, Toothy Exolotl with a three months of prime. Forgotten 21 gifting a sub. That's all of them. We did it. And there we are, already at 2,621 points. I am not doing any more pushes today. Fuck that. I <laughs> I don't man. Yeah, we're not. We're we're good. We're good. <laughs> that I I was hoping to get like one emote slot out of this and you guys came in uh you guys came in with five over the past week. Five emotes. Like that is goddamn insane. So we are we are good. We you you all can now break. <laughs> you all can now break. Jesus Christ. There's no more. No, no more today. No more, no more subs today. <laughs> uh, because like I said, the purge is coming probably in 30 minutes. Literally in 30 minutes. So I I any any kind of push would be irresponsible at this point. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and unmute. Uh let everyone know I'm unmuting and give them a profuse apologies for keeping them waiting. Hello, everyone. Yeah. I'll do it. Hi, yeah. hi. I, oh, uh, shit. Hello. <laughs> what was... <laughs> hello. Sorry, I was hello. No, you're, you're good. I'm looking... Hello, Brett. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at all this cheese. Is someone backed yeah, up? Eating, don't, uh, don't ask these questions. Is don't someone backed up? <laughs> a turkey burger with Munster cheese. And then Benji was like, what's a Munster cheese? And then he oh. said it was bread it's cheese. Munster cheese. Yeah. Munster, got, yeah. like, it's bread cheese. got really toxic about yeah. cheese yeah. today. Oh. I was, yeah, I was up on my pedestal of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, was. he said, stinky cheese eaters, I believe were his exact yes. words. He yeah. really came out swinging. That was like the second sentence he said once he came in today. God I damn. That. I did. So, that, and that's the truth. Wait, so yeah, you, don't, you, you, don't like, you don't like people who eat cheese or? Specifically, I don't like cheese. he said. 
Yeah. You don't and like I don't cheese? Like people that have cheese inside cheese. them. Oh, well, fuck. Um, names that are cheeses. Names that are cheeses? Like Brie. Winks, like Brie. I hate them more than anything. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Brie, that was very heavy handed. Hey, what do you think about people who have cheese names? Like I'm sorry, hey. young Brie. cheddar. Brie. <laughs> Bree. Cheddar Johnson. Little cheddar Johnson. <laughs> Dude, I want to be friends Little with a Cheddar, cheddar Johnson. Yeah. I know. Cheddar Johnson, you know, is like a good drinker. He's yeah, a good yeah. guy. To, he's not going to be that depressed drunk. He's going to be the drunk who's like always there hyping you up. He's like, you need a wingman, brother? I'm here for you. Cheddar Johnson's always here. Yeah. I love cheddar the voice he would have, too. Like, and, sure. and, yeah. and, and you That's have damn right. And you have a catchphrase for him, like, you know, always here with my side of cheddar. And you're like, you going and just looking at this guy drinking like a fish. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I miss Cheddar oh, yeah. Johnson. God, what a. What I miss being him? able to Did eat foods that are good. Him? He fucking died. Yeah, what, what murdered him? <laughs> what, what, specifically, who murdered him, Brett? Uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't who it was. It was what? Well, what yeah, ironically, was it? cheese. Crazy. Cheese. cheese. Yeah, yeah, cheese. Yeah. Exactly. Honestly, it was cheese that killed him. Lots of cheese. Very sad. Was it Wensleydale cheese? What kind of cheese? <laughs> Wensleydale. <laughs> now, you can't, now, okay, you can't turn around to me and say that I'm not a cheese person because I don't know Mungster cheese. And not know what Wensleydale cheese is. Not Mungster, like as in amongst us cheese. Munster. A Munster cheese. A Mungster cheese. Wensleydale cheese is so much fucking better than Munster loaf bread cheese, okay? I mean, you. He tried the other one. He didn't know they don't exist until today. Also, let's not, you know, look, you can have all your fancy cheeses. We have no ground to stand on. Our number one selling cheese is whatever the hell American is. So, like, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. true. Oh, true. We can't true. have this argument. Like, That's just you liquid win. Salt. You win. Like, yeah. Thank you, Jesse. Gross. American <laughs> cheese is poison. That's so gross. Uh, but we can all agree uh, that's poison. Oh, but oh, yeah. I, I, I'm going to let you know, I can't do a grilled cheese sandwich with, with like, fancy cheese. It's impossible. I, uh, I got to yeah, have yeah. my no, 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 cheddar. American cheese. Cheddar is so good. What do you want? Cheddar is good. Dude, oily. I'm gonna it's tell you right now. With, like Gouda and stuff. You do grilled cheese with Munster because it melts easily. Yeah. Tell you right now. Mm. Just get some mm. Velveeta. No. <laughs> <laughs> get some Velveeta. Put it's it time between to two the toasters. That, yeah, there it is. The, Jesus. <laughs> like, that Jesus. Jesus. The top Jesus the Christ. Top oh, my then, God. Then oh. deep fry that some a bit. Kicking this, at the exit then, door. It's not opening. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, just uh, give me this a second. This all just stems from the fact that I'm not eating Indian food because I have gastritis, Check. IBS, digestive mm -hmm. issues. Today, yeah. And now yeah. I have to eat healthy. Yeah. I, I, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's good, man. I get it. I get you. All right. I, yep. I'm just doing one final setup here. Uh, All right. Ooh. What would that do to your insides? The thing I just linked. Um, easily probably death. <laughs> <laughs> that would kill. That's Easily so much sodium it would kill death. anyone if you oh, ate yeah. that much fucking Holy cheese while sitting. That would kill you. That's how they do it. They melt the, the, the like the the opening and then just scrape it off. By by uh by the way, Bree on a on a separate note, grats on vaccine. Grats, grats, grats. Thank you. So yes, welcome. I just got vaccinated two hours ago. It was. Wait, 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 right now. First or second? First, so not fully vaccinated. Oh, then you ain't unsafe. Even to unsafe. Come on. Not safe. First, first one. <laughs> Get away. You feel all right? First I is child's right play. Now. I started having a panic attack. I think almost in the parking lot though, <laughs> right after, because I was like, "What if my heart stops? What if I'm? What my heart speeds up? What if I'm breathing really heavy? Am I gonna die? Like, what's gonna That's happen?" The symptoms of a panic attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Unfortunately, the symptoms of the panic attack uh, mirror the symptoms that you're supposed to alert them about after yeah. you get vaccinated. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the yeah. way it goes. Did yeah. you get the Pfizer or the Moderna? Pfizer. Yeah. The good oh, shit. All right, all right. Moderna fans. gang. Oh, yeah. we gotta fight. No, it's Moderna gang, gang here, dog. Yo, yo, and Pfizer, like Pfizer, Pfizer. Pfizer. <laughs> Pfizer. 
I I, 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 remember, go, uh, I go for my second Pfizer, uh, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. So that's going to be... I'm this dude, weekend, baby. Massachusetts, nice. I'm on the street. Massachusetts is so fucked. <laughs> I can't get one out here, dude. They, they won't even fucking let me go anywhere near one of those goddamn bags. I call them. I ask if they're like gonna throw them out anyways. They're like, yeah. And I'm like, then can I get one? If you can throw it out today. And they're like, no. If you say you're under, if you say you're over 50, I guess you could come over. I'm like, but what that's the fuck? Like, they said to me. They said, they said to me. They said are you what over 45? And I was like, and, I, and then no. I was like, then I confirmed again with them. Hey, so. You're gonna just throw out a bunch of them tonight, right? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, so why can't I just come get one of them? Like, it's we policy, can't man. Oh my it's God. fucking policy. I've been there for like the last like three weeks. My whole family's vaccinated, but me at this point. I'm just sitting here I fucking just, shaking. I head. love the doctor with like the cigarette burning on his head. It's just like, hey, so you're gonna throw these out? And that doctor's just like, shrugs, yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna throw them out. That's why like California opened everything to 16 plus. Cause they Dude, Florida they opened yeah. up to everybody. I don't Illinois know. Yeah. Yeah. 16 and up. yeah, we have Flor Florida, of all people. I went to a CVS and was like, hey, are you, are you throwing them out? And they're like, uh, yeah, you, let's show me your arm. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, here you go. That's, You're vaccinated. Honest to God, that's yeah. what my entire, the right aid I was at, there was yeah. a line of, they were like, we have enough for like 20 people. And there was a line of like bro dudes who were like, I can't get, wait to get back to banging people. I was telling Trevor <laughs> about this. <laughs> and finally <laughs> stopped. And yeah, finally yeah, fucking yeah, stopped going to beaches. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, off. Fuck off. I was like, man, I... I was dating this girl before COVID, and you know she wasn't even that hot. But like, we broke up, and I haven't like banged anyone in a year. I should have oh stayed with her. Oh my god! This is like a wonderful human being. Such wow. a yeah, like, such a what, fucking bro? LA Back thing. Such a fucking oh LA thing. I can't wait. I can't wait till I get this vaccine so I can get back to banging. I love that he was like disappointed in himself. He's like, man. I broke up with his girl. And we, I could still be lying to her this whole year, but like, oh whatever. my fucking god! <laughs> like, damn, oh dude, my god! Okay. Thanks, <laughs> thank <laughs> L.A. everybody, L.A. And with yep, that, and with that, it's time to begin once again. Jesus Christ! Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta log in. Yeah. <laughs> Log on in, yeah, my you friend. Do. You do, yeah. Again. <laughs> Log on in, dude. So I will say that the first day I was like, eh, I feel good. And then three hours oh, no. later, my arm started hurting. And then I just felt really tired. Dude, I'm helicoptering my arm. I know the strat. Okay. Apparently, yep. a, you can make it better. Oh, like rub it. Like rub your arm the entire time. Yeah. You got to like, uh, like rub it. No, that I heard you have down. to like lightly exercise it, actually. Like, you just, you just yeah, move it around a little bit. Just around. Just around. I'm driving a, bit. a car with. Uh, this is one of those fake things elbow. that they get people to like walk around helicoptering their arms move with. Hey, I'm a little bit. Of my home. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know I don't like hear it every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> just you just gotta get in there. Again. Just like rub it and twerk it. Yeah, and just, just exercise I've done all year. Do different yeah. positions with it, like head handstands and shit. Yeah, just, you gotta get in there. Just uh, move around with it. So yeah, you gotta have like a friend come punch it a bunch. Oh, just get in there. All right, all right. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and begin. Uh, Dung Dungo's dead. Did you just aw that we're beginning? Did you just fucking aww. <laughs> aww. Aww. Not the Dungo's dead part, the part before that. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, have to yeah, start yeah. the game. We have, we have to, to start. start the we have to start the game. Oh no. I fucking hate yeah, don't love that. Dude. <laughs> yeah. it sucks. I only come here for the pre-show talk. Now we gotta now we gotta work. <laughs> Do you remember cheese? Do you remember cheese, guys? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I do remember cheese. Um dude, I... No go on. I've been time warped back into this room. Uh, yeah. yes, yeah, because I I didn't want everyone. That's what. So you're looking outside oh, right dude. now. What? What? You, you, that was, there was a lot of character development with Clarence walking like twenty feet. Yeah. And, and now yeah. that's all gone. Now I have to fucking rebuild that world. I gotta let everyone else back into my mind again. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're at. You, you open the door and you're outside the door. Uh, as a brief recap of what has happened last oh, week. Girl. Um. <clears throat> Did you just say, oh, thank God? Anyways, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm done. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Uh, so you... <laughs> uh, no. Um, you, last session, uh, you discovered uh, Dungo's desecrated body uh, within one of the Cosma containers. Uh, a failed uh, botched infusion of Cosma upon the individual of, of precious sweet Dungo. Uh, you did manage to go ahead and, and get Pikel's wolf out. Uh, with that, 
Lagos uh, gave you the option of the choice to essentially return back to your chambers. We'll seal you away. And when the fight is going to begin, then you will be the good little soldiers that you are supposed to be. Uh, and as goblins, you said nay. And uh, you fought against a familiar of Lagos, as well as other Cosma creations that struck out against you. In the meanwhile, though, you begin to find more creative uses for your Cosma draw ability, uh, the ability that is bestowed upon you from Cosma. Uh, finding a source of just raw Cosma energies, kind of like sort of these like Cosma batteries, uh, you began to draw from them, which caused you to transform uncontrollably uh, into your Cosma forms. Uh, with some creative thinking or some chaotic thinking, uh, the rest of you began to draw from each other who was connected to the battery uh, until all five of you uh, drew, creating a link, abling to sever uh, the battery's energy from the facility. With the energy connected uh, and, and somewhat contained, uh, you were able to sever your link from Lagos, who was able to try and to essentially mentally strain at your brains. Uh, they had control over your, your, your body, your facilities. And yeah, you managed to successfully sever yourself from Lagos. Uh, upon departing from the chamber, uh, you came to a very dire site, which was the landscape uh, that was outside, which appears to be that you are on the body of a dead god, who is Cosma itself, and why this is the facility known as, like, the mind facility, because this has been built upon the brain of this dead god of, of, of Cosma. So, with that, we begin today's session. Uh, you all have departed from the facility, is that correct? And you're now standing outside? Yeah, I would be outside by now. Okay. I'm inside. I think I stick behind, hang out, wait for the others. Okay. And Dude, so I'm just thinking about the time, the different timeline where instead we all just watched as model exploded. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm exploding. <laughs> we didn't train him. He, we just come back in today, and model is fucking dead. Like yeah. guts everywhere. I would have uh, welcomed that, but there were there were there were definitely going to be some some checks uh, that were going to be made. So, oh. um, but you guys be, kind of began drawing right away. Um, and also, I think one of the key things that I know we discussed before, which was the fact that. Uh, Cheezle still doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> he sure doesn't. I mean, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific because Cheezle really doesn't know a lot. He doesn't things, know much right? of anything, yeah. does he? Also, I don't even see that screen, so, you know, yeah, I don't know either. a lot. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Honest. Yeah. T yeah. Couldn't see that. So, um, but here you guys are outside the facilities. Um, so to kind of describe, like, the environment itself. There we go. It's all dark for me, too. Uh, man, something's going on. Something wacky is going on with your tokens. I'm, like, uh, yeah, in the, the top token? corner and this black screen. Yeah. 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 Oh, good news yeah. is mine works. Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about me, Brett. Yeah. Yeah, some of your tokens just uh, just got deleted with the... Oh, I see what it is. Okay. Give me one moment. My par apologies. I thought that was an ice cream truck. It's the music from the game. I was like, what the hell is that noise? <laughs> I thought outside there was like Man, an ice cream truck. That's an ominous fucking something. ice cream truck. Yeah. Dude, that's a, that's a sort of spooky song for ice cream. Mm, I do also <laughs> see the... an uh... ice cream truck with that. <laughs> just slowly rolling down the fucking street <laughs> at like 8 That's not... Brain tires, blacked out is. windows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah apparently no Joe one Fudge for me. rolled a one. <laughs> Just says Joe Fudge rolled a D6 and got a one. That's bad. Yeah, that's a previous yeah, game is playing. In that yeah, campaign. yeah. That was Ignore the pre. That. Yeah, I uh, I can go ahead and purge the text for you if you'd like. I forgot no, to do no, that this no, time. No, 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 no. I like to see how much worse they are. Okay, all right. Uh. Okay, what, have, what did I give you? Dynamic lighting there. Okay, uh, everyone should be able to to see safely now. 
Let me know if you can't for whatever reason. I cannot. Okay. I is this look. a side effect of the vaccine? This is I a think side. So. Of, this is a side effect of the Selective vaccine. Selective blindness. Yeah. LED blindness. <laughs> yeah. Do Selective blindness. blindness. Okay, I'm good now. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Wait, did we rest? No, we haven't rest. No, yet, yeah. right? No, you have not. That's definitely something we should talk about. Yeah, I'm one HP down, guys. I'm I'm scared. <clears throat> I mean, right. yeah, actually, we sort of thrashed that group. I was the only one that really took any like significant damage. Me and Pico. Yeah, I mean, spell slots is our main concern. Yeah, but... I'm I'm actually I still have a ton. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> fuck it. I, didn't, I really didn't use that much in that fight. Uh, okay, so, with that, eh. roll 20, <laughs> fuck, all right, sorry, Classic roll 20. let's try and do that, Play. Play. um, so, yeah, uh, as mentioned before, you, you kind of, you walk out, and you see this sort of metallic facility, uh, engineered upon the, the massive, what you've learned is a, uh, uh, a massive body that is just floating out in space. Uh, below, you see what seems to be some sort of biomatter uh, with some red viscera liquid you can only assume as old blood uh, coat the organ that may be underneath. Um, a metal grate is built uh, heading over to the south. And uh, yeah, you're free to, to roam around. If you'd like to look at anything, just let me know. Well, uh, I, I think first I would look for any sort of surveillance things. Like, I know that there was cameras pointed out here, but like, I, mm -hmm. are we like aware that our, that we've severed our connection to Lagos at this point? Uh, the voice has, the voice, the voice has voice ceased. Has yeah. And he, and there is a feeling of relief, uh, over each and every one of you. Cause like, I think we can all oh. agree, like taking at least a short rest would be good. <clears throat> Well, well, wait, we don't, uh, how would we recognize that as the connection being severed as much as just, oh, he can't hear yeah. us or speak he's, to us anymore. He, Maybe he he's gone quiet. He didn't talk to us at all for like the entire time that we were exploring the place. Yeah. So that doesn't necessarily. He's gone quiet, basically, <clears throat> is what we know. Yeah, he's gone quiet and there's a, a general ease that falls over you as if. Mm. As oh, if. Something that we can feel. Yeah, it's something that, okay. that, that, you, that you can feel. It, it, it was almost as if you didn't realize you had like an anxiety over that fell over each and every one of you. And then even though that you're in a tense situation, a moment of relief just kind of like falls over each and every one of you. All right. Okay. Well, uh, we can't stay here, guys. Um, yeah. You would look off into the sky, uh, the starry sky and the uh, fiery Nova off in the distance, just completely just emanates and illuminates the area around you. Um, the air itself feels very heavy. So breathing here can be a, a little exhausting. Mm -hmm. oh. exhausting. I start walking forward. Well, delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, Clarent walks forward. You walk into what appears to be a very aged um, facility. Um the wall like that, that looks like this area hasn't been roamed hasn't been explored in quite some time uh the viscera itself is beginning to peek through the area and as you look over here at the ground um go ahead and make a investigation check i always nail these mm. fuck yeah it's your specialty man with Don't a six sarcastic but... with a with a 16 uh what appears to be a, a kind of dirt as you explore and kind of smell a little bit, and even if you were to touch it, um, you come to the conclusion that this is all aged, calcified flesh. That you are indeed upon a, li a, a once living body. Oh, now, this is gross. Now that has been long since dead. <laughs> Ew. What What's that, clone? What are you I, saying? I, I think we're like, I, you, know, the, you know the big baby? Yeah. I think we're on it. Oh. That's like that's that looks like dead body, right? That that ground there. You see what appears there... to be a large ancient corpse. All right, hold on. Oh, and that also looks like a small dead body. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on. You mean the body over there, or, or, or well, the one I mean that all on? this ground is like skin, but like gross old skin, like a dead guy skin. Hold on, Clint. 
Um, uh, can I ch can I like chisel some out of the ground? Yes, you can. Okay. What do I have to do for that? Uh, you don't have to do anything for that. Your experience. Oh, amazing. Wow. Uh, okay. your, your experience <laughs> in the background of your assassination. Um, as you kind of cut away at it, it 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 almost feels as if you're hacking away at um a hide of some sort. It almost feels Ooh. leathery. Ugh. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, uh. like, <laughs> I think it's been done a long time, Clan. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really know where we were completely, but now I'm starting to think we're just sitting on, we're just standing on the baby right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. What would happen, do you think, if Pickle put a pickle in the hole I just dug? Do you Is think it might try? wake up? Yeah, give it a go. Yeah, give it a, go ahead. I don't really know the uh, repercussions of that. <laughs> Just gonna shuffle past and uh, pull a pickle out and shove it in. Okay. <laughs> Here we go again, dude. Goblin yep. logic. Are you are you just placing on <laughs> the old god? <clears throat> are you planting? Uh, are you planting a pickle or are you casting a spell slot to cast like a healing pickle and placing it within oh. the? I'm gonna do a healing pickle. I assume they want magic pickle, so. Okay. We're gonna rest soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as you go ahead and um, place your hand within the jar, as you usually do, the healing magics uh, manifest the ever sacred and holy pickle. You place the pickle within the cut out spot that model carved out for you, mm -hmm. and you just place it down there as the pickly juices sort of like spread out and go within the. The calcified ground. Other than that, there doesn't seem to be a visual change. All right, this thing's dead. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take more pickles. What if we dug a really big hole? Isa, you some more, Isa? Yes. I, I feel like this thing's too pickle? big to, for pickles uh... to work on. I'm gonna be honest here. It is too big. I think it's too big. But you know what we can do. I'm gonna step out and on over to the the small body over here, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to cast speak with uh, the dead on it. Mm. Provided I see a mouth oh on this God. body, how fucked up is this body at this point? Uh, so yeah, feel free to go ahead and make another. Uh, you can make an investigation or a medicine check. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is. This is good rolls. Two day, uh, two streams of oh, good yeah. rolls. Uh, as you investigate the body, uh, the only conclusion you come to is this is the most ancient and old thing, oldest thing you have ever seen in your entire life. Like it just, you couldn't believe. And with the, that twenty four investigation, you couldn't believe something could be so old. Yet the environment around here wow. has has kept the uh, body. It, 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 relatively preserved for the age that okay. it's in, even though it has been well since Wait. like mummified. So, oh, so it's like a mummified sort of deal at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old so, is Clint? Huh? How old is Clint? Uh, I don't know, like thirties. Okay. In that sort of range. Okay, I'm gonna pocket that information. Thanks. <laughs> Were you asking, did you ask me? Well, I'm thinking, like, <laughs> how old? Like, what's our, because if we were, like, three or something, what would our concept of time really be like, you know? I mean, I'm pretty sure but goblins like 30... live for, like, pretty decent amount of time, right? They're not, like, <laughs> This not is like, the most ancient we're not, thing like, you've we're seen. We're not, like, two-year-olds. You know? Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, but, yeah, provided there's a mouth on it, which I've now surmised there is, yeah, I'm going to cast Speak with the Dead. Um, sure thing. So, uh, also just to, to reiterate your age, um, so goblins reach adulthood about at the age of eight years old, and typically they can live anywhere up to 60 years. However, they usually okay. die pretty quickly before then. They don't <laughs> see 60. So yeah, if we you thought so too, Brett. We thought yeah. so too. <laughs> yeah, so if, uh, if you are a goblin within your 30s, which you can be, uh, you have been, you have led a very sort of protective life yeah, <laughs> in, I would in say goblin Clint society. Was a cowardly, pathetic loser of oh, our absolutely. Film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Game started, so he probably just stayed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even still. 
That's, I would agree. That's why typically, typically when you see goblin elders, they are extremely skittish, and it's because and it's naturally because uh, they've been surviving that long. So, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so you go ahead and and do speak with dead. Let me go ahead and read this real quick. Uh, you grant the semblance of life and intelligence to a corpse of choosing, uh, allowing it to answer the question you pose. The corpse must still have a mouth and, not, and can't be undead. The spell fails if this. Uh, man, this is so fascinating. I can't believe. This is happening. You can ask them up to five questions. The corpse knows only what it knew in its life. Oh, this is so interesting. Oh, this could be fun. No, oh, it's gonna be mm -hmm. really fun. Ooh, I'm stoked. So cool spell. The as you cast the spell, uh, the necromantic energies uh, fill within the ancient body, and you just see the eyes illuminate a faint green before it looks up to you whispers in a sort of deathly hiss. Speak! Hey man, how you doing? That's uh, one of your questions. How, how loud is that? We, we get, I get as many questions good. as I want for 10. <laughs> <laughs> how loud is that to me? How loud is that terrifying? Oh, it, it, it echoes through there. Uh, just so you know, uh, till the spell ends, you can ask the corpse up to five questions. Oh, shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. Well, the good news is I don't think we're gonna have more than another four. You can, you can, you, you, you can ask your five questions. That's why I'm just, yeah, I just, okay. just, just, just so you're aware, you do only get five questions. Okay, so you get five and one goof question. That's good. That's yeah. Good. That's good. That's good. Yes. Five okay, that, that, that's good. We the goof charge. How's it going? <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna cross that one off of my notebook here. Okay. Uh, hey, can you tell us where we are right now? What is this place? Ooh, how would this individual answer? Okay, so it would look up to you. Honestly. <laughs> uh, repeat the question again to me, please. What is this place? Where are we? Yeah, I guess yeah. those you can sort of interpret that as, I guess, yeah, two yeah, questions it, technically, or just it, 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 it's it's the same, yeah. This is the final battlefield against our fight we are on the body of the dead god the murderer of jupiter cosma all right i'm gonna look over at the other sort of confused for a minute <laughs> so this thing was dead when you were already when you were here um Oh, let me rephrase. Not the murderer of Jupiter, the destroyer of Jupiter. Excuse okay. me. Yes, let's. Uh, let me rephrase what that. What the fuck is Jupiter, Clint? I don't know. I, I only have four more questions. Uh, go ahead and ask uh, the fourth question again. Uh, I asked. Uh, fuck. What did I say? Something about it being dead. So Cosmo was already dead when you got here. Cosmo was. An undead abomination. Right. Yeah. So oh. dead so dead and undead are two different things. Undead just means yeah, it's dead, but it was still fucking moving. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was just trying to get an idea of like time scale here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this. Uh you guys got any like you guys got any questions you want to ask? I, I don't really want to like, do this yeah. all without you guys over here. You can ask him like what was popular when he was around. Oh, that's good. That's good. Maybe then we can figure out when it was. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, uh, you and any, like, what was like popular culturally <laughs> when uh, you were alive, man? Just so I get to know you a little better. <laughs> what were you into, dead body? <laughs> What sort of hobbies were you up to? Have you guys ever heard of Fortnite? <laughs> you play Fortnite, man. You got pogs. During my time alive, the Aurorian race were unable to have hobbies or joy. We fought for our survival. Right. God, this guy's sort of pathetic. I was. <laughs> I sort of mumbled that over. The Roaring Race. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm drawing it down. I'm gonna go to all yeah, right, right, draw this down. Draw it. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna down. skip over the fact you said draw, not write. <laughs> I'm gonna assume you're drawing very good pictures of this. Yeah. Aurora and Race. Hey, you uh, you ever met a guy named Lagos? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm. Sorry, when I'm silent, I'm trying to think of how this individual would answer. Yeah. Um. Lagos was vital to the Auroran survival. It was, they were the last Astari. We seeked their magic and hoped desperately to tap it and manifest it from the subjects known as Lagos. Is there any, like, easy way to get off of Cosma from here that you remember? I arrived here from an Auroran battle cruiser. Here we go, space goblins. Oh my <laughs> yes, God. Please. However, from the last thing. I witnessed all of the Arathi technology was destroyed, except for one, the station of the... Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the name. Um... He cuts off and dies again. Uh, we'll have to wait another 10 days. He no. passes on. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> the station of the Arathi studies. Or, oh, no. Not the Arathi. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry. The, the Astari studies. Okay. All right. Astari studies. Sorry. My brain just hiccuped. No, that's fine. It actually just cut off me. Well, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, the, the Astari studies. Okay, so I I had to ask that guys just so we had something to yeah. go off of yeah, for, for sure. destination. Bad Even though I had other stuff I wanted to ask. Sense. Don't worry, yeah, ab, ab, I, ab, think, ab. I think that's our five. Yep, that's your game. five. All right, all right. Now ask it. Ask him. Um. Ask him like, what killed him? Hey, what killed you? I'm gonna kick the now completely dead <laughs> inanimate <laughs> dead man. What got you, right. guy? The body like he... slightly falls over from its <laughs> mummified state. I think he's dead. Oh, I guess okay. he was done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where did his uh, where did his like brain go like after he died? And and how come you can call him back? I uh I don't know, man. This is something I just sort of picked up while I was getting cooked up by Lagos, I think. Also, I don't know any of this stuff about what? where his brain go. Are you asking yeah, me like, questions? Where, like does, I don't know where does his his thinking go? You know, after he after you die. Uh, we're doing this now. This whole <laughs> philo philosophical thing. Now's the time. Well, I was always told that after you die, it's just darkness, right? right? There's no repercussions. Right. It's like pulling the plug. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah. On like a steampunk or like theme appropriate kind of yeah uh, yeah 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 technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Right. But you but you can Hey Clark <laughs> Yeah You're not like a necromancer or anything, right? I don't know man. I was like dying for a while, remember that? Then I became like a granny, remember that? I've gone through like a lot of weird stuff. I can't really track where I stuff several starts. Titles. Or... Yeah. yeah, no, but I don't know. But necromancers wanna on. I don't know. Look, I deal with death, but I don't fuck with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean there. It's just like, you know, it's like, we, we can turn to monsters now, man. Like, who knows where our powers end now? Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes death is better, plan, like leaving stuff dead. Speaking of dead, I'm gonna, like, sort of eyeball Cheezle. And like also eyeball oh, or dungos, oh the direction of dungos thing. <laughs> what a oh segue, God. dude! I, I know I'm 
not gonna oh. say anything. I'm like <laughs> signaling to you guys, like, oh, yeah, okay. we have to oh talk about God. this like right. soonish. We can't be like, hey, by the way, she's like fucking eight days from now. Dungo's okay. fucking dead. Brett, may I roll insight to see if I pick up on what he's putting down? Oh uh, yes, you can. <laughs> and I'll have you determine your own DCs. I'd say a 15 is probably good. Oh, right. You did that just to the whole group? Pickle and... That was, and like, that was like in the direction oh, of you three. Yeah. Like, not... Like, facing away from Cheezle. Skagzak, you want to insight? Uh... Do I want to? Do you want to? <laughs> God, I'd love to see Skagzak fucking drop that nuke. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> that would be the one. Inside it. Uh, middle of the barrel, kind of. Slowly up. Upper. Uh. Oh, oh wow. Skagzak's, Skagzak's very good at this. Picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably, what? Uh, Why you all look like you look like? What do you Where mean? We just, we've always looked like this. We've always looked like this, and you know it's just been—it's been a long day. I think we can all agree on oh, that. Oh, we're tired. Yeah, I've got tired. bags under my eyes. Trying to find a place oh, to rest. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Jesus, uh, why don't you run along and have a little look for like a place okay, to sleep? Okay, I look. Yeah, Jesus, don't go too far runs. now. Jesus <laughs> runs along. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, before, uh, like, we're gonna like slowly walk behind, I guess, and just mm -hmm. have a brief moment to talk. Yeah, about I'm gonna make sure Dungo. that you like left to yeah, some well. sort of distance. <laughs> and then oh, I cross bridge! <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chisel, do you enter the do you enter the off map area? Would you say? Yes. Or no? Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So Chisel, I'll uh, I'll explain what you see in the moment. We'll have to do a a, a scene switch per. But yeah, um, go ahead and continue. All right, what's the fucking plan? I don't know, we gotta tell him though, he's gonna go crazy if we don't, man. Wait, wait, why would he go crazy if we don't? If we don't tell him, Dungo's Dunzo, all right. Chizo's yeah. gonna go crazy at us, all right? Okay, well, I mean, we, we didn't could tell just him. say we never found him. I mean, what if he ever found out? You think Skagzag ain't gonna say something eventually? Look at him. Skag? <laughs> I guess what? he's like drooling a little bit right now. <laughs> Guys, uh, you're not gonna go tell Cheese all that Dunko's dead, are you? Uh, do I have to do it? No, no, no you we definitely don't. Like we don't want you to be the one that does oh, it. I just want to know you ain't gonna be the one that just. Yeah, like... I'm not gonna say anything. It's what if just lie forever? I... Lying yeah. forever is good until someone chokes and says He's something wrong. Practice right. lie. No, 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 no. The problem is that. <laughs> this wrong deception. Go on, let's practice lie. Plan a practice lie. Dongo is a very good on vacation. See you Jesus later. He's not going to buy that he's on vacation well. forever. <laughs> I don't think Wait, where did he go on vacation to? <laughs> he he <laughs> wanted to know where Dungo is now. Model can... ate that I, I actually <laughs> thought that he was dead. <laughs> 21. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, 21. <laughs> oh, that's really good, yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, but she's not trying to deceive us. And that's insane. She's like, she didn't like, just walk up to us and say, Dungo's alive and on vacation. We all whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> just, just so you know, just so you know, player characters are able to force deception on yeah. other player characters they are they are not able to do that or that's the same thing all to force the it, but you're all of us like, it, right yeah I that role was like all of us like fa like fabricating yeah. a lie together yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely absolutely Look, we can only get away with lying for like a couple of days at some right. point this this bomb's gonna go off all right yeah and it's i guess it's kind of like un unethical ethical to do that to Cheezo. Yeah, he's, he's not know that the word. What do you mean? I don't know uh, either, but honestly, it's, it's sort bad. of... It's bad <laughs> not to tell him, I would say. How about how about this? We don't tell him until we can get some time to, like, rest. All right? Like, yeah. actual rest. And we'll, mean, take him, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll take him aside during that when there's no... There's no adrenaline or fighting happening, yeah? 
Yeah, and like we need time ourselves. We were yeah. friends with Dungo too. Yeah, it's a process, you know. We all are. I'm gonna tense my my fingers on my forehead. Very sad, but Dongo is become angle, so it's okay. Yes. What did you say? Uh, what did you say? say? Dongo is become angle with wings in sky. Yeah, sasolies. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. I went to goblin school. <laughs> you got so D Dongo turned into a sasolies. What's going on? Yeah, and I sasolies. All right, so we're all in agreement. We're gonna have to tell Chisel when we rest. Uh, uh, I don't know how you don't want to ask more questions here. What the fuck is a sausalis? <laughs> I I try not to ask too many questions about Skagzag's whole. I just physically like just wave over to Skagzag's entire deal, <laughs> deal, and then. Uh. Just, uh, sausages must be Plus, like, honestly, we did tell Chisel to run off into dangerous, uh, dead god land. Probably shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna mumble, yeah. I'm gonna follow the direction I know Chisel went. Uh, cause oh. I watched him go. All right. Uh, do you all cross the bridge over to the next, uh, the next area, the next room? Yeah. Yeah, just slowly follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I will give me a moment. For you can't keep typing shit like this in the chat. <laughs> what did you say? I said the Sosalis nuts. That was, that was, that was that nasty that, shit. Is, that's like taking two memes that took. <laughs> like, it's like. like I'm gonna like, 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 triangle in a square hole. Exactly that. Oh my god. Hot. Hot. Hot damn. Oh my gosh. Um, you walk into what Good appears job. to be an older, uh, like kind of like the same facility that you guys were at from what you were in before, uh, the within the the Cosmo Mind facility. Except this one seems to be a, a definitely more ancient and has been exposed to the uh, what you would probably mostly define as the elements of this dead body of of Cosma. Uh, everything is just kind of starting to like. It rust over a little bit from the iron of the blood that has been seeping through the ground uh, as the metal grating itself protects your feet from the calcified skin, the brain matter, and the blood. Uh, Cheezle, since you arrived here first, what would you be doing? Um, would Cheezle recognize any of this as anything important? Uh, since you have not been to the previous rooms or labs, uh, a lot of these panels would be unfamiliar to you. Yeah, Chisel has moved completely through this room and has exited the south. All right. <laughs> She's like running from us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Chisel well. has no reason to stay here. If walking in, didn't recognize anything, Chisel moved on. All right. Uh, Chisel would head over south. Uh, you guys would arrive within the room. Um, what would you all be doing? Would we? Would I have caught Chisel going south, or would we have? Uh, if Chisel literally just walked through the area and then just ran south, uh, then no, you would not have seen Chisel leave. Where the fuck uh, is Chisel? I'm gonna have to do the the trombone thing again, aren't I? Wait, 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 wait! wait. We don't alert anything to our presence. I clearly. know that's the problem. Oh, why don't I just stealth behind and go have a look around? We we keep splitting. It was a big mistake to have Chisel split up from us. Honestly, we can't keep doing this. I mean, it was an important conversation, Clint. Yeah, but we shouldn't split up more now when we don't know what's yeah. happening here. Yeah, I mean, you know I mean? I'm kind of tired too. Yeah, I was I was very purple for a time. You were all sort of purple. Yeah, for don't a like it. Day. I've been green. I would, but I would walk up uh, to this like sort of machinery and mm -hmm. like is. Is this even something that looks interfaceable anymore, like with Cosmodra, or is this stuff just totally ancient beyond use? Uh, you're free to investigate with Cosmodra if you so wish. I guess I'd walk up to this thing and say, "I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna take a look at this thing. I'm gonna point right. to the, the box below me. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna try to draw it. Um, just see what happens. Yeah, you kind of tap into what appears to be this entire network of. Uh, ancient machinery and computers that are interfaced with each other. Uh, these were once old power cells um, that have since been, since been extinguished of all its power. Uh, you do see it interface over to, uh, well, actual interfaces uh, over to the north. 
looks like there's another computer room sort of lab deal. Has the same sort of weird power things that you tapped into, model. That was a power thing? Yeah, I mean, it seemed like a power thing, the way that when you stuck your weird... When you yeah. trod it or whatever. I mean, yeah, Clint, honestly, I don't remember a lot from that moment. It, well, like, everything exploded. kind of flashed before right. my eyes. It was it's a big a mistake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened was back there? Almost euphoric, actually, in the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I was on the precipice between life and death. Um, I will also say, I will also say that the, sorry to interrupt, I will also say that the interface you believe may have more, um, more to tap from it, uh, information-wise. Yeah, so I was planning on going over to next. Uh, continue, Pico, sorry for interrupting you. Yes, so what does precipice mean, mortal? Uh, I heard, uh, a man with a wizard hat say it once. Uh, I don't really... Why are you calling me out like that, Pickle? It's just interest. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to the interface and oh. go ahead and draw into it. Okay. Oh shit! God, you're on a roll today. All right. So, uh, you have tapped into the interface where you see a variety of options that you don't understand. Um, apparently, there is enough latent power within this facility uh, to perform uh, one actual action uh, while there are some logs and information. Um, primarily, it looks like this facility was able to sort of create uh, a different type of magic that is more, I would suppose, uh, oh, I can't even say that. Uh, definitely seems to be different than actual magic that you've experienced or dealt with. But well, the technology here seems to be there. Um, more importantly, the quote-unquote Cosma power uh, that is drawn from here um, seems to be operated and, and, and used differently, as if an entire differently group of people uh, tried to manage this in one way or another. Maybe that belonged to the race of the people that you tried to read the, the dead, undead for. Uh, nevertheless, uh, it has been reformatted to its own separate purpose, and it will give you uh, some options. First and foremost, um, it will allow you to teleport to one of three locations. Uh, the, okay. But you can only uh, teleport oh. once. <laughs> yep, yep. The butt. The, oh, we can teleport to the butt. Thanks, Brett. <laughs> yeah, you can teleport to the butt. Ooh. Uh, you can only teleport um, to one. So, um, and one of the... Sorry, let me rephrase that. So there's four locations. You can only teleport to three of them. Uh, the fourth location you can teleport seems to have its own special conditions that needs to tap into the users uh, to allow you to fully teleport to that area. So uh, the first location uh, was recently discovered. Um, it is simply known as um, an unknown station. Oh, station, Jesus Christ. An unknown station. Uh, reading the logs of the unknown station, you would find out that uh, an entity or some, some sort of form recently appeared in that station for a total of 50 seconds before then it vanished away into the unknown. Something right. so it, it, I'll, I'll phrase that as of like recently, like yeah. we're, we're talking like a day ago, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, seconds. maybe that it was there for 50 seconds and then it vanished. Hey guys, 50 seconds <laughs> of what was what is sent it? somewhere happened within the last day. What did we do? For 50 what did seconds? we do in the last day? Could it be time dilation related? So 50 seconds here might not be 50 seconds somewhere else. Well, I mean, now that we know that we are on Cosmacara, and we know that that means we're also somewhat close, well, I'm thinking it might be the inevitable. The fight? How many rounds was that? That was not that many rounds, but we instantly were sent from here to there, and now that we know yeah. they're on Cosmacara, that means the we're in the same, like... Right. Oh, that makes sense too, because I dropped spell before it reached sixty seconds. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. That's it. Yeah, I think so. So that's the first. That's our first destination we can go to. Mm -hmm. I uh, mean, if we go there, we get to find out. We more don't know if we can come guy. back, do we? Yeah, we don't know that. Yeah, it, it, this would be a one-way ticket, and so it would be actually uncertain if that station would actually be able to take you back. Um, the second location uh, appears to be a, specifically a staging area. Um, as you with a twenty-eight, I will, I'll tell you a little bit more about that. So, um, a little bit of information that you can arrive from the second location. It is specifically the staging area within. Cosmicara. Um, after reading some more notes and locations, uh, you will actually recognize that you are not on Cosmicara, the space baby that was over in the astral plane, but the planet of, uh, but a location simply dubbed Cosma, uh, okay. which you would figure is actually the parent of Cosmicara. Okay. More mm. importantly, from what you can see from the area that you're in, uh, you are not in the astral plane anymore. You are in the prime plane where Io is located, which oh. means this body is oh. floating above Io oh. currently. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> That's Interesting. foreboding. Um, this teleportation will allow you to go into the staging area, which will actually place you within the space baby, within Cosmicara. Mm. It, it seems that Cosmicara, um... While it is a threat, it's merely a vessel for something more ominous. And this will place you within that location. We, I would say that's the most dangerous option. So mm -hmm. That's very yeah. dangerous sounding. That sounds yeah. Like, yeah. Like, that's, that's like, like, like final like boss move. territory. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the third uh, location that you could teleport to um, is a essentially a focused Cosma, um, a Cosma teleportation station. Uh, that can be used to what is described as uh, pierce the sky barrier of Io. It is a one-use teleportation. Oh. But more importantly, you can use this location to take you back to Io if you so desire. Ooh, home okay. sweet home. The fourth, the fourth location, one more thing. Uh, sorry for the lower drop, but one more thing. Um, the fourth location is simply dubbed the Chamber of the Eight. And it requires uh, special conditions of people that have what is deemed as um, unknown uh, unknown properties of power. Mm. You will also see that it says there are two entities in this building right now that fulfill those requirements. You will need six. To oh, enter shit. this location. Wow. There's really good documentation on this programming. This is crazy. Yeah, this is very... For how old it's not, this is, it's not very, very common. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, uh, it, 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 this is essentially going through a lot of, like, technological jar, uh, gar, jargon. Just reading through a lot of documentation. This is kind of the cliff notes no, of I mean, all those things. See. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's super. I, I don't know about you guys, but I would say, obviously, four, no go. Two, no go right now. Two is a one no or home. I think that one, I think one at this point, I don't know. I, I would say at least Quarant sort of in it for a bit of a long haul after Dungo got killed. I would say he'd want to, he'd be after a little bit of some sort of, you know, vengeance or something Resolution. out yeah. of this, some sort of gain out of this. So it's not just coming back from a, like with a huge hmm. loss going back to IO at this point. I would, I would want to go to one and assume that we can find a way to get to the other stuff after that. Because it doesn't, Brett, that well, doesn't, the, the trip to one doesn't say we can't, like, there's absolutely no way there to get back. It just says on this panel, there's no way we well, can teleport back. If an entity using, slash, like, system. Yeah, if an entity slash form appeared there for 50 seconds and came back from the banish, maybe we could find some kind of way of banishing ourselves there to the thingies yeah. room. That would also make, I think, in character, it'd make me <clears> think, <throat> like, hey, something teleported in and then teleported out. Just so you Which know, the right. the if if you are following the banishment theory, the banishment spell specifically has uh, two conditions. Uh, if you are of this of the plane that you are banished on, uh, you simply go to a pocket dimension for like 
a minute and oh, then okay. teleport back. If you are we not, are in, if you are, yes, that is correct. But if you are not native of the plane and you're banished, uh, you are returned back to where you came from. And if you okay. hold the banishment for a minute, you stay there. Okay, that makes sense to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that can't work. I, I mean, I'm gonna have to bring all you guys over here and yeah. explain this to we you. We have to find is, Cheezle first. Yeah, which is now the Cheezle fucking equation <laughs> again. I mean, I have line of sight of him over here. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. <laughs> Start chasing him down with my chasing words. Okay. I would retain this knowledge and try to find the others and like get them all mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... So to also give you just a above board what these options are, just so you guys are fully aware, uh, the first option would take you to a mysterious station, um, which you believe may actually be of a starry origin, or not a starry, I'm sorry, of a roaring origin. Um, the so not Lagos's people. The second option would literally allow you to not right away because there's still more that you would do, uh, but would allow you to. Enter the fight against Cosmicara, but in a completely different matter. Uh, and the third option would just take you back home to Io, back to where you guys came from, mm. safe and sound. I mean, I... honestly, before we even fuck with the teleporter, we know it's here. We mm -hmm. could explore yeah. more and then come back here and go home if we do find something worthwhile. You are able to do that as well. You are able to do that yeah. as well. As long as we don't die here. <laughs> we could do an Eva over the surface and have a little look around. Um, so, uh, Pikel, you would chase after Cheezel, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Not chase uh, after, just kind of meander over. Okay. Um, so Cheezel, you'd walk off over the area, crossing over to a bridge, what appears to be heading over to a different building. Uh, this bridge would head back to the west. So you're kind of going in this, like, circular, uh, motion right now. Uh, as you would go to the west, if Pikel wasn't spending too much time and rush over to the bridge, uh, Pikel, you would actually see uh, Cheezel crossing the bridge. Um, what would you do? It's not to go there yet. Cheezel, come back, please. Uh, Cheezel, uh, you would hear... He's already the... out of the room. Right. Well, that, well, that's what I'm saying is out of the room currently... So you're off the map. You're crossing over to the to the west. Uh, Pikel has got one on the corner and is now and is now yelling at you as you head over to the west. Uh, you would hear uh, Pikel. What would you do? Uh, Chisel turns around and says, "This way." It's not done. Explore this room yet. No explore. I walk. <laughs> oh God! All right, and with that point, Cheezel will continue to walk over to the west. I'm gonna go ahead and pull you off the map for a little bit, then, Jesse. I would uh, definitely hear this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Pikel, okay. would you would you continue to give chase at this point? I would wait for the others. Okay. You go this way. He's went to this way. He's not listening to me. He said, I "Need to go walk this way." Why is he like this all the time lately? Is maybe he kind of know Dongo not alive. I, I don't know about that one. That's giving cheese a lot of credit. Is what if he has soul connection to him? Soul, con soul connection? Mato, where are you going? Walks away. Mato is. <laughs> Muggle hears fucking necromancy talk and he's internalizing that and leaving. I, I, I just see what I see. Oh, soul connection. I see you do a 180 and walk away. <laughs> like, the, like oh, you were the one God. who wanted to talk about philosophical shit with oh. me earlier. Oh, well, he's a little God. bit oh. scared. Oh. No, oh, you're good. You're good. I have to. I have to. I have to grab all the tokens so I can move you all. Oh, she's all right. Oh, it's non-canonical so groupage of tokens. Her. Yeah. Uh, all right, you guys would leave over at the area trying to chase down Cheezel. Cheezel, you're currently walking across what appears to be this bridge, uh, heading over in the west direction. As you look north, you see the facilities that you originally came from. Uh, this seems to be a sort of like branched off splinter section uh, of the Cosma facilities that you've been exploring so far. Um, with that, you all would also enter the bridge and you would just see uh, Cheezel with a determined march heading over to the west. Cheezel! 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 Uh, Cheezel, what are you doing? Cheezel's like looking out onto the to the field of decay 
with like a little sad look in his eye. Oh no, he knows dude, somehow. Hey, <laughs> Jesus. what's up, Jizo? Hello. What's, what's wrong, Jason? <laughs> little, tired, tired of the weird all of a sudden. What happened? Claude. Uh, yeah. I have question. Oh, God. I'm gonna look over to everyone else <laughs> like a uh, <laughs> two thumbs Tons up at Claude. <laughs> <laughs> You got uh, uh, Yeah, Cheezo, what is it, Cheezo? I. Cheezo, kind of sad. Just do you. Do you think. We were never going to get no weapons? Oh my oh. god. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's I so think we can find some weapons around <laughs> here if we take a look around. Yeah. Just, there's always, there's always play ways to get weapons. Do you remember all those weapons you we just got, pit, like just no, killing people back in the day? No, I didn't see any weapons. Jesus don't see weapons. No, 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 Jesus. And we were Jizo. promised weapons. Jesus, we found the weapons, Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna hand Jesus my old short bow. <laughs> oh my <Huh>? god. <laughs> it's a very oh shitty. Basic intro level rogue short bow, and I'm gonna hand it to him like it's fucking God's gift to, to humans. Chisel ropes it to his staff. Yes. Yeah, you know what? I would, <laughs> I would <you>. also. <laughs> I would Jizzle, give him, I'd give him very, a dagger. Very powerful. Too. Be careful. Yeah, we got lots of weapons. We got, we got Go lots on, of clone. weapons for you, Chisel. I give him my old dagger that I've never used once in my entire life. Chisel takes some more rope and ropes the <laughs> dagger to the staff. <laughs> You got all of the strongest weapons in the whole world. You're so you nice to Jizel. Jizel yeah. hugs the two of you like hard hug, like, oh. squeeze oh hug. He's really small too, so we're like arching our backs down. Mm -hmm. You best friends, Jizel ever. Have. Yes, this we're is your the best worst. friends. Think of us. <laughs> Think of us as your best friends. You don't need all the best friends, Jizo. Just us. Oh, you treat me so nice. You never betray me. Yeah, we never yeah, betray yeah. you. Hey, you guys. Uh, you guys want this place seems safe enough. You guys want to kick back, eat, take a little rest. He's yeah. Nice. Where the fuck is Skagzak? He's standing over there at the doorway, <laughs> drooling again. <laughs> oh, Skagzak. Ah, uh, yeah. How are you, mate? I'm all right. Gagzak, what's yeah. going on with you? What are you thinking, man? What's, just, what's going uh, on in right now? I don't know. I just, I just miss the, the olden days, you know? Yeah. Granny. Stu. Right. Stu? Who the hell's Stu? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I meant making Stu. You know? Ah, uh, right, right, right. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now yeah. we're just on some dead baby. Like, I don't care about this baby. Yeah, I mean, I don't think any of us really care about the baby. Yeah, the baby's dead, Skagzak. Like, my life has been about entertainment. I'm not yep. entertaining anybody. You entertain me, Skagzak! Yeah, but that doesn't count. Oh! oh. I, I mean, I still oh. feel like that counts. Yeah. Uh, it's like entertaining your mom or something. Jeez, it's good to entertain my mom! So why don't uh, put on show for us while we have a nap tonight here? You entertain, we yeah. clap. Yeah, yeah we'll all we'll clap. No, no, wait, we'll clap if it's good. Everyone like the clap. old days. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think I think all we right. can all use a little break after uh, everything. That's right. Yeah, I'm all over uh, everyone. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, he's God. all like the happiest smile you've ever seen. And he's playing oh. with the dagger and the crossbow. He's like hugging them and looking up at you. Oh god, uh, we're gonna have to do the show before we tell Cheese all this. Is yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wall. We need we need to have him in a good place. Oh god, <laughs> fuck, dude. Uh, I guess I would quickly take a peek around this corner to make sure there's like nothing because it's like a corner. This seems like yeah. a good place over here. So you're like, as you're good as any. you're looking at what appears to be um the old like old resting stations like you were slumbering in uh, before over in the Casmo uh, in the Cosmo Mine Station, in the Cosmo Mine facilities. Uh, these were the old resting beds. Uh, they appear to be. Well, I would. Well, this place over here looks pretty good for it, guys. I'm gonna like just walk up to this 
uh, bench, the uh, one of the you know resting stations, you just sort of plop down on it, mm -hmm. like it's a bench. Uh, you would go ahead and, and yeah, he would sit down over there. Uh, what is the rest of you doing? Uh, Ma, uh, I seems Bottle has left to his death. He dove into the brain matter. Oh, sorry, I meant to be on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> How high up is this? Um, I would say it's about twenty feet up. Twenty feet left to my death, Brett. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't you, you don't know what that brain matter does. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you all would then approach over into the into the resting area, and uh, yeah. Okay, Kel's gonna um light some candles to create some ambiance. Okay. Uh, Are they the made show. of pickles? Yes, I'm gonna um I'm gonna do create food and water to create food and water for us. We have oh, nice. nice. Food. I was about to say we don't have anything to eat. Yeah, here. creates uh 45 pounds of food and 30 gallons of water. Jesus it's not very Christ. good. Oh my it's, God. it's very nourishing and it's after 24 hours, so we gotta eat it tonight. Uh, you would light the candle as the sort of like dark wind that blows over Cosmos kind of causing the the, the 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 flicker of the flame to uh the dance in the wind on the candle. Wow. It's comfy. It's like so a bonfire. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Has it's anyone got a container? Uh, Anybody got a container? I got my bag. I can't pay container? me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know, like a, a shaker ball container? Uh, He's have a pickle a jar, look. but... Yeah, could you empty it? No. All right, got well, a... then it's not good for me. I got, I got a pot. <laughs> I got a pot here. All right, perfect. Can I take that pot, Clint? Yeah, so you can give it back, though? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, I'm going to fill the pot with ball bearings and uh, gently shake it around to start making the ambience for the music. Ooh, very cool. It's like rain sounds. What's going to You going to put on a little show, then? Skank, 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 skank. Come yeah, on, Skag. Yeah. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, ahem. What is uh, various, uh, yeah, various go on. fireworks are popping out of my my body and my hands. Pikel's gonna whisper to the others. <laughs> He's kind of lost his touch, no? Yeah, he's sort of... Yeah. Sort of pew, 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 I've lost it, man. I've lost Look, it. I've been out of this baby for too long. Skagzag, at, at the end of the day, you aren't defined by your ability to shoot fireworks out of yes, your body. Yes, I am. Oh, He's yeah. an entertainer, Clint. That's literally all he does. I mean, <laughs> look, I used to think that my only value was my incredible ability to play music. And right. I mean, I don't even remember the last time I used some of this crap. I'm gonna symbol. I'm gonna just signal to all the crap that I have on me. I don't. This doesn't really define me anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, it does. That's okay. your job. That's all you are. <laughs> I'm a blade used by others to kill other people, Clint. Other than yeah, that, I have Mono, no when's other value. the last time you did that right, though? I mean, none of us are really very good at what we describe ourselves as the profession of our. Kind of killed that lich up there, I think. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean, but like, did you get paid, get paid to on. do that? Yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you actually got paid for the job you did? Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. My God. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing I, for money? I get paid in friends. <laughs> Look, I, I mean, think that's the real takeaway with... here is that we don't need no miles. We ain't just a circus. I, we haven't done circus stuff in ages. He's like a gobby family clone. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 then what? Then what is Skag's eggs? Uh, real payment, then. Uh, Are we friends, Skag, or? 
Are we friends? What are we to you? <laughs> what are we? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> I don't even know who I am anymore, man. Skagzag, sounds to me like, just like me, you tie a lot of your identity to your job. Yeah, and we haven't done that job in so long, I've forgotten it. Right, so you feel out of touch, out of practice, right? Yeah. Yeah? Well, why don't you just practice? Yeah, yeah but we don't got we time do to practice. Better than ever. All right. We don't got time to practice. We're on a dead baby in the sky in the I middle mean, of nowhere. You got time well, that's right a good now. story. Yeah. yeah, but I can't practice now. It's, it's in front of everybody. That's not practicing. No, it's good practice. I think it's good practice. It's Did you give me feedback? Good. I can't work like that. You need to be unseen. I need to be unseen. Otherwise, it's like I'm performing for people. It's all in the brain. That's, uh, I mean, that's literally <laughs> what you are doing. <laughs> you guys are shy. Job. It just sounds like you're not shy. shy. Yeah. I'm not shy. You're I'm just shy. saying. It sounds like you're shy. You're shy I'm not shy. Time. If I was shy, shy I wouldn't be able to perform things in front of people. You're yeah, so we... shy. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's. Bad, bad. <laughs> He's just going to have a. Uh... He's living up. <laughs> walk over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna let Skagzag do that. I'm not gonna keep pushing oh, him. Did he Skagzag, jump off don't fall off the truck in any fall. <laughs> that's <laughs> a, <laughs> just <laughs> FYI, that's a that's a that's a twenty foot fall into Skagzag unknown viscera. <laughs> For tiny I Skag, almost... that is a deadly fall. I said I'm not shy. <laughs> so bright. So confident the way he tossed himself off that balcony. It's probably he was a showman until the end. <laughs> yeah, I would probably take this time to start getting into the dungo thing, cause I, or be honest, Skagzag, I don't feel like would contribute very well to any sort of emotional drop here. Uh, no offense to Skagzag, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> Listen, uh, Cheezel, uh, I'm gonna look oh, over it now. Yeah, you two again, sort of see yeah. what your deal is. <laughs> Listen, Jesel, Jesel. Uh, why are you put down like that? Face first in a delicious pie. And he looks up. Yeah, at him enjoy in the cherries. pie. I'm gonna start using my 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 tippy toes to slowly slide his staff away from him, like as far away from him as I can. <laughs> oh God. I'm going um. to definitely, <laughs> I would definitely, like, while we're having this conversation, also quietly prepare to use sleep at its yeah, maximum I was gonna power. Say. Uh, <laughs> it, as a reaction on if Cheezel attempted to murk any of us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have sleep prepared? <sighs> Cheezel, Is listen, the... we gotta, we gotta talk to you about something. Just, just so you know, as if when you prepare a spell, you vi visibly look like you're about to cast it. I don't it. feel like Cheezel would Is notice. Is Cheezel disarmed? Uh, uh, both of my arms are around a big pie. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so have I actually like successfully? Do I have to stealth sleight of hand, tiptoe this thing away with, well, or kick this thing? How, away? Uh, Cheezel? How are you wearing your staff, or do you just have it on the ground? Um, uh, it's it's just like you know, around me. But not like okay. I'm not holding it. I put it down to eat this pie, this delicious pie. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. see, so you kind of like begin to push the uh, the staff over. Um, what is your passive wisdom, uh, Cheezel? My passive wisdom, boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, On the left side, it's the second. What square. is that? Sixteen plus three is what it is. Okay, so you have a thirteen. Uh, so. You would just notice, uh, as Model sits next to you, uh, he just kind of so just put, moves your staff a, a, out of the way. He pushes it behind. Behind. Don't break that! It's, it's, it's my favorite. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. I'm just admiring it with my toes. <laughs> okay, you can, you admire. His very cool flames are from Wizard. Yeah, very cool gonna keep kicking it away <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are darting left and right mm. do it now do it now jason look <laughs> hey uh we gotta we gotta talk to you about something that uh we don't know you you're you're, you're gonna exactly want to hear what 
You find big weapons in no doubt cheese? No, it uh it was not big weapons we found. Look, uh Big we... sexy goblin no like cheese? <laughs> no no no, I'm sure she likes you very much, Cheese. Okay. Uh, she loves you. <laughs> uh, listen, Cheese. When I say this, I need you to agree I need you to understand that you have to remain calm, okay? Oh, she's a you, very calm. You need to promise a gobby oath to me that you're not going to go crazy when I tell you this. A gobby oath is important, Cheezel. Oh, uh, I got me, I got me oath. Okay. <laughs> gonna look, if either of you two are going to get it me doesn't out of mean this anything. One. Doesn't mean anything, but Cheezel, Cheezel's got, like, Cheezel's got weird brain, dude. It might be enough for him. I don't fucking yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm grasping at fucking anything here. <laughs> Jesus, um, I don't know how to say this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Uh, we found Dungo. Uh, earlier. Oh, you found Dungo? Where Dungo? Jesus like stands up and looks around. Dungo is hand on shoulder. Gonna be coming with us. Why not? Da why not Dungo? Dungo! Dungo's dead, Cheezel. Oh. That's not, <laughs> that not true. Dungo being strong. Dungo, where are you? Dungo is very strong, but you're going to have to be a little bit stronger, Cheezel. Cheezel looks at, at Pico. <laughs> Her eyes are just wide and kind of like welling up as she watches this <laughs> go down. Pico, no, Dungo, fine. He's true. He's not okay. Who did? Who did this to Dango? Oh, uh, this uh, is the. I, I mean, I guess we tell him it yeah, was Lagos. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was Lagos. It was the guy. It was the guy in the, the guy who was talking to us. The screen. The screen. The face. Yeah. Cheezel pulls out his long sword. Oh shit. <laughs> God damn it, you got to grab that. <laughs> I gave him an ocular pat down. And he he turns to the group and says Oh hello everyone. Oh what are we doing here? Cheezel. Cheezel? Yes! Tis I! How are you? Giselle! How do you feel about Dungo? Dungo? Oh, yeah. yes. Well, unfortunate what happened to that chap, but we must move on together. How, wait, how are you? How, how did that... I thought... How did you... Yeah. I thought you couldn't just come out whenever you wanted. What was that? I'm not sure I understand. I'm going to... Uh... Hey, Chisel, do you mind if I, uh... Mind if I uh, use a little Cosma thing on you? You know how, like, we talk to you? Uh, oh, of course, yes. <laughs> I'm going Certainly. to Cosma. I'm I have the nothing to hide. <laughs> on <laughs> on Cheezel for a minute. And just see how Cheezel's doing on the inside right now. <laughs> oh, uh, God. As mentioned before, because of your Cosma link, you're able to speak uh, with each other uh, in your inner mind. Uh, so you are free to do that. Unless, for some reason, uh, Cheezel or Cheezel uh, resists it. So the question would be, does Chizel let you in? Uh, yeah, Chizel lets you in. Okay. And then when you get to Chizel, would Chizel resist it? Would she? Uh, you sense, you sense nothing. Oh God. I'm just gonna oh, sort of God. like almost as if this was a door I was poking my head into. <laughs> <laughs> Chizel. Nothing. B darkness. Empty. All right. Oh. Uh, that's the whole thing. We're gonna. What'd you to say? With... Uh, nothing. Uh, Cheezel ain't even in there. I ain't hearing anything. I think Cheezel might have blacked oh. out. Hold on. He might have oh. fainted. Right, right. I thought you meant he died. No, I think he just like fainted. His consciousness in there ain't anything. Well, now I feel silly. I've got staff in between my toes. Yeah, we're still hanging on oh, to that. You for can now. keep that silly thing. I've got this. He sort of like That's flexes a... with his sword. 
It's a very Woods. cool sword. How the fuck didn't I see that? Well, <laughs> that's because I keep it close to me at all times. Oh. All right. Well, uh, hey, Skagzag, we uh, we told him, and uh, uh, I think I think really really screwed up Cheezel's head. Uh, it's Cheezel again. Not oh. good. Ah, oh. nice. I mean, hey. hello, Skagzag, looking hey. veiny as ever. Hey, thanks. Now, uh, listen, I got some other stuff to cover, and I guess telling this now while Giselle's out is probably easiest. Listen, I, uh, I hooked myself up into one of those, uh, things on the wall. I did it earlier, remember Skagzag? To, uh, talk to Cheezel in that other room? I, uh, oh. I, I oh, thought yeah. we have, uh, turns out we can teleport from here. We can teleport? So, uh, the four different places. Now, only a couple of them, I would say, are actually options, but I can... Go through them if you'd like. Yeah, I mean, yes, please. Yeah. I'd love to hear all the options, please. Now, friend. option one. All right. Uh, I I'm not sure if I should really explain the entire thing since you guys. I wrote already... them down. Yeah, in, I don't. Uh, it, might, it might be easier for us to just assume that I go through the four options and we just sort of continue from there. Or it's gonna take a little bit. Yeah. For the sake of brevity. Yep. I would explain the four options as I observed them inside the machine. Mm -hmm. To the best of right. my ability. So we could go home, right? That's always an option. That's an option. Right. But um I'm not I'm gonna be honest, guys, I don't know if that's the best option here. Why not? This guy killed Dungo. Right. I don't know, I feel like we owe it to Dungo to do something. No. I don't know. Dungo's gone. We should look out for each other now. You think that, listen, all right, we know this thing's coming to Io. And have you seen how incompetent the Astral Academy is? We've walked in there twice and wrecked it. If yeah. we don't do something, this it's thing's going to kill us all in a couple all of right. weeks. The Astral Academy is dysfunctional. True. However... We do have information about another group, I believe we procured. Yes? Yeah. Some group of pirates. Perhaps they're the ones we should entreat and parlay with How in the order hell to defeat these find villains. Them? Parlay? We only know their names and basic info. We don't have enough to go off of. We go to Io now and look for them. You know how big Io is? I've never no. been off the peninsula. No. We're not finding someone down there without, like, an address. But we do have all the information we need on said captain, I believe. Listen, I think that there is a... There's a point here where we go back to Io, but I think it is... I think it's a bad idea to go just yet. You know what I mean? We have an uh, opportunity here to get some actual shit done. You know what I mean? More shit than anyone else has gotten done, that's oh, for we sure. We could die in the process. Yeah, but I mean, like, we're basically gods, guys. Have you seen what we've been able to do that no one else has been able to do? We're squaring up against people ten times our size, and we're no, kicking I've... their ass every time. What did you become? What? What? You said uh, you're a god? In what way? You've, you've seen us transform. She's I... like, she's like, we're able to do all sorts of crazy things. Does not ring a bell to me. We don't have any ability to transform right now, do we? Mm, that is correct. No. She's like, uh, and let's take my word for it. All right? We're all a right, lot stronger on. than mm, yeah. we think we are. I don't know that, you, that you've necessarily earned my trust completely, but okay. I'll listen. Giselle, how much do you know about us? Like, I'm trying to understand where you stand in the group. Well... He's what color my eyes? She's going to cover her eyes really quick. Ah, oh, yes, your eyes. The, the color of eyes that a, one such as yourself would have. <laughs> Blue? Are you co Is he colorblind? He might be colorblind. He's Let's ask yeah. another question. <laughs> uh, I don't know what Giselle? else you can ask him. Giselle. Yes. Um, I'm curious. What's my name? Oh, your <laughs> metal? <laughs> what? 
Can you name that... any? Can you just go down the line and just name all of us? Yeah, go on, Roku. Cool. Yes, Roll yes, call. yes, of course. Well, that Skagzag, obviously, everyone knows Skagzag. Right, right. And that yeah. is Pickle, of course. And that uh, furry fellow over there, I believe, is Clurnt. And uh, oh. you are Metal. And the one with all the instruments, I believe, is... Sing Song Man? Oh, I just realized he called the dog Clerk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely called my character the shade. before. <laughs> no. no, no, no. He's, he's uh. used our correct names before as Chizel. But he, he doesn't, doesn't come out to very often. Them. Yeah, he, he I mean, probably doesn't like... fucking know us very well at all. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. It's either it's either that or he's having a full-on mental break well, right now. Uh, admittedly, part it. of my memory is a little fuzzy. I only seem to recall parts after we fought. Like, do you remember a night? Like a big slimy, gross night. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. After that, uh, everything appears fine. But before that, I don't remember quite much. Oh wait, what? Where are you from, Chizel? You know, that's a fascinating question. I don't quite remember. Oh. Uh, I don't really understand the implications of that. <laughs> I don't think any of us are going to understand the implications of that. We don't really... I don't know if we have time to unpack all this tonight, all right? I mean, Chizel's already going through a lot right now. Yeah. I don't want to send Giselle through some existential crisis, too. Right. We're going to be flip-flopping between the two. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm not even sure what that means. So, <laughs> I'm just excited to be around companions once again, getting to know each other and going on our first adventures. Yeah, <laughs> our first adventures, right. How long at this point? What's the time scale, Brett? Like, how long have we all actually been in a group together? A couple like, months. Let me think. Let me think about that. It's always difficult in D and D to be like, oh, "How long have you been together?" I mean, yeah. I I would say with all your journey that you've been around, your teleportation, um, the extensive work that you've been done, yeah, I would say it's been about uh, a few months now, in right. total. Hmm. All right. We're family. We're family. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I would. Was... You've only known us for like 30 <laughs> combined like, minutes. like two Giselle. days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would go that. Of course not. Also, Jesse, I sent you a uh, private DM from from the DM. Whoa. Did you send Wait. it to Jesse because Jesse doesn't answer right now. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> Look, I I don't know about you guys, and I care about what you what you want to do as well, but. You all know where I stand. I don't think we can go back to Io yet. I think if we do that, we're dead in a month. Right. Why? Because we already know Lagos is coming for Io. And he already yeah. told us he's planning on killing everyone on it, and we're not but on his doesn't... side anymore. Right. But what if star we go back and we equip all our old friends with Cosmo powers? Skagzag, we barely... We can't even... Do the Cosmo thing right now. We're not. I yeah, wouldn't I would, be shocked I would if we can't friends. transform again after we leave this place. There's got to be a goblin scientist there or something. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, I mean that's that's what clone is, though, right? I'm I'm pretty smart. <laughs> I got plus yeah. one intelligence. What do you guys think? I don't want to. I don't want to be the only one making a decision here. Right. I don't want to think on it too much, but maybe we can, like, explore a bit. Look for some loot, some items, some weapons for Cheezel. No you. thanks, I have all I need. <laughs> Not you. Oh. I couldn't possibly understand who you're referring to, but... <laughs> Whatever friends you may have, I'm sure we could bring trinkets home. Yeah. Dude, I miss Cheezel. <laughs> <laughs> Hope he's not dead in there. <laughs> Look, then I would say if we want to go somewhere to explore and maybe get things like weapons and stuff, we might want to go to option one. Is right? a good idea. 
I think option one's best idea if we want to get anything out of this. There's no way that we can't teleport off of this place, even if we go somewhere else first. This whole place seems to be connected. It's just we won't be able to get out right away. It extends our, our stay by a couple days at most. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm into it. He does nodding. She's gonna nod. It's, it's, go to first place. It's, uh, fill it out. It's maybe go home soon. It's okay. miss home. Yeah. Yeah, we'll sort of feel out the, uh, feng shui. Well, yeah, I mean, we are going home, right, Clint? Oh, that is the plan. Home. This isn't some elaborate suicide mission. No, I don't want to die, remember, model. Pico, you said something about a suicide squad the other day, and honestly, I've not really recovered since then. No, listen, I think we can all agree we don't want to die. Speech, but we also all know from first-hand experience that this this guy, Lagos, is pretty tough, and he's obviously not screwing around, and he is going to get us if we right. go back without slowing him down even a little bit. All right. Question for the group. Does anyone know what she's saying? Uh, he, like, uh, points at PKL. Is it talking to me? Is it talking to me? Excuse me? I can't yeah. speak clearly. I cannot understand you. Is not to stand for this. Is go for a walk. Is feel hot-headed. <laughs> wait, wait. Someone has to translate. I cannot understand what she's saying. What do you mean? Like, you can't, can't hear the words? You just can't believe this. Those were words. Mikael, don't wander too oh, far. Yeah. She's speaking just as much gobby as you or I. <laughs> She's pacing you know. furiously back and forth. <laughs> that is no gobby language I've ever heard of. Oh. Uh, listen to the way you speak. Listen to the way the clant here speaks. And he points to the dog again. And listen to the yeah. way that the old music man here speaks. And Skagzag certainly speaks well. It's like right. we have a child with us, an in, 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 intellectual, at least unstimulated yeah, child. Right. <laughs> okay, Giselle. You staring down your nose at Pickel? I mean, yes. We all should until she learns the proper language. Can you, like, imitate what you think she sounds like to you? <laughs> of course, yes. Hoppa, kutabu, atetutu, osabu. It's not. That is yeah, very yeah. offensive. Yeah, that's Jesus. What does it matter with that? That is a little bit mean. Uh, what do you mean, mean? Jesus, exactly. look, we're all we're all stuck together. You got it. This is yeah. a you problem, not a her I problem. I thought you were optimistic about our friendship. Optimistic. The only thing I'm yeah. optimistic about is possibly going home. Yeah, that's on the table, but only if we all get along. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere if we're all at each other's throats. You gotta apologize to Pika. I'm not at anyone's throat. Especially not hers. It's so dirty. <sighs> Jesus. My jaw dropped in real life. life. <laughs> 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 My jaw dropped in real life. No. Nope. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna... <laughs> I'm just it's saying, not, I can't... It's no, no, it's not getting no portion of food. No, she's gonna snatch any food out of your head. <laughs> it's not getting any generosity oh, from Pika. It's not deserve it. It's okay. Pie makes me bloated anyway. I'm fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, the hell. So, Skagzag, I know you want to go home, but you think you can? Think we can postpone the circus act for a little bit longer? Yeah, it's already been this long. All right. Yep. That's good of you, Skagzag, because I know you were reluctant. Long period of time. Yep. I am reluctant, but you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, well, then it's agreed. Let's, uh, I guess let's just take it easy for the rest of this night, day. Um, is, the sky, is there a sky or is this like fucking? All, all you see is just, space. yeah, you just see star, the, 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 the starry sky. Um, you see what appears to be a, a planet of blue off in the distance. Um, and the brightest thing in the sky right now is this just red nova uh, that is by you. Um, that you would assume would be the sun, but you've never really seen a sun up close. But it looks like this just constant, like, in like 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 inversing in explosion that's just slowly going off. Mm. Wow. Well, I'm just gonna try to. I guess let's just try to get up in like eight hours or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna go sleep. He's fine. He's do whatever. Crawl over here and try to go to sleep. Okay. 
Chase, uh, you should apologize to PK, though, and I'm gonna go sleep. I won't. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, uh, no. Excuse me. Because um, I'm going to cast Guardian of Faith to protect us overnight. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I guess, like, maybe... Uh, where should it stand, guys? Like, here-ish? Yeah, I guess we could, like, mosey in. Yeah, if we all get in this corner, it's probably safest. Which corner? Mm -hmm. Just like yeah. uh, somewhere where it can how stand uh, how how wide yeah. is it? Oh, uh, if anything moves within ten feet of it, uh, it must succeed a dex saving throw or take twenty radiant damage, and mm. I think it alerts us. Yes, oh, I know. Sweet. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. Are we doing watches? We don't need to if we have this thing. Oh hell yeah! Uh, For eight hours. All right. Essentially, uh, Bree, you're 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 able to place it wherever you wish. Let's awesome. go sleep up in the um, corner. Yeah, if, if we all go to the corner, we'll be safest, probably. I'm in the safest position. Oops. Are you here? That feels mm -hmm. good. Uh, yeah. And uh, Skagzeg, where are you resting? Uh, I'll rest... Uh... It's a very important choice. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I go uh, here. <laughs> That's... <Yes. laughs> <laughs> the only one. Uh, uh, all of you, uh, whether reluctantly or not, uh, bundle up close uh, as the chill of this foreign space uh, fills uh, the planet of Cosma uh, as you continue to be in this strange outwardly location, a place that neither humanity nor goblins has, has ever been or gone before. Uh, feel free to give yourselves a full rest, and we're gonna take a let's let's take a couple minutes for a bathroom break. Sound good? All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. All right. I'll see you guys in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna use the restroom, guys. I'll be right back. Uh, once again, uh, Submageddon apparently has already begun, but we got five emote slots, so. Thank you again for all that support, guys. That has been extremely kind and generous of you all. Uh, all right, I'll be right back.
Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Let me let everyone know I'm unmuting. By Hello. Since... Oh, hey. Hey, uh, hey. We weren't planning nothing. Yeah, we weren't. <laughs> we weren't planning anything. Plot. <laughs> Hi, plot Brett. Hi. Plot away as much as you want. Anything you wish to share? No. Uh, no. I guess they knew what he can oh, share. Yeah, yeah, we really we could, but they're gonna find out anyway. They're gonna yeah, see you guys, it. You're gonna. You'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, the candle will snuff out. <laughs> And uh, eight hours have passed. You all have fully rested, fully healed. The guardian will go down, and you have awaken. I'm gonna walk immediately to Cheezel slash Cheezel. Um, and I guess brace <laughs> just in case. Yeah, it's sort of squeeze out of the area and go to the center. I'm just ready. I'm behind I'm him, not basically, physically to strong. grapple. I'm worthless in a grapple. Yeah, I'm gonna grapple him if if I notice anything wrong. So I'm like preparing a fucking action. Good morning, friends. <sighs> I'm going to just once again, Cosma check on the interior of Cheezel's brain to see if there's any activity in there now, after a night's rest. Uh, yeah, sure. Of course, of course you do. And on the inside, um, it's pitch black, but you feel like intense emotion. Oh. But there's nothing there. You see nothing. You just feel like you're unwelcome. Ooh. Yeah, Jesus yeah, oh. needs Sorry. some time, I think. Yeah. Oh, hi, by the way, Chizel. <laughs> right <behind him. laughs> Hi. Good, good morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, uh, better get a move on then. I think I know where we need to go. I think this is a circle. Mm -hmm. uh, is there food? There's food left around. Yes. If Pikel sees you going for food, she will oh, slap. Oh, I hand. totally get it. Yeah, you slap one hand, and I pick it up with another hand. She goes slap the other hand. <laughs> pick it up with the other hand. <laughs> Just gonna slap the other hand again. Pick it up with the other hand. We're what just gonna that? do a slap hand fight then. Oh yeah, it continues on for minutes. Yeah. It's not allowed to have food. It's meat to me. It's no respect. Not deserve food. It's not a matter of deserve. For companions, I need it's to be filled with my. Are like, you gonna deal with this? Or is this like a meeting? All right. Well, she walked away. Happen. Fantastic. I grab all the food I can. <laughs> <laughs> just start munching it as I, as I like follow. After you, gents. Keep up the good work. What yeah. The fuck. I think it's. Uh, I think it's this way. Come on, Skagzag. I think this whole place is a circle. Wake yourself up. Does Skagzag wake with like night terror sweats? Does he gasp when he wakes up? Uh, I don't know. Sk Skagzag Grandor probably went to go get coffee at a place five hours away. He'll be back. I just saw him moving. Oh, I, that, I, that was, was me. Definitely Brett. That was me. <laughs> that I was, never moved that fluidly at at all in this game. Ever. True. That was dead. Yeah, that that was. I uh, wanted to go make coffee, and he was like, "Oh, there's no beans. I got to go to the grocery store. Be <laughs> back in like <laughs> six hours. Store, get beans." <laughs> uh, we can wait another minute if you guys want, or should we just continue on? How important is Crendor to this story? Very, very right, so, important. Uh, he is. Very, he is the yeah very now, important let, now look it He's might just be the cheese powerful. element me but very important are we gonna need uh, a fog or fireworks in very, oh, hey, buddy. Uh, hey no no very important hey, friend every every player is important to this D, &D game what? so with Not that gags like waking up and we're carrying <laughs> it <laughs> uh, uh. all right 
So you guys head over to the north, uh, and you, yeah, as you continue to walk over across the bridge, the the, the calcified lands of Cosma, you return back to the uh, the original area, to the front yeah, of, we're, of the location. We're heading back to the interface thing. At least that's what I'm planning. I'm guessing everyone else is following me because I know where I'm going. Yeah, I'm follow, just follow Clint. Okay. So you all would then just head over to, to yep. the uh, the interface mm-hmm. area. All right. Yep. Then I shall take you there. Right. I'll take you there. I'll take, <laughs> I'll take you there right now. Okay. So with that, pardon me. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, uh, uh, yeah. You uh, would uh, all. You I'm would gonna all. I'm going if you don't stop. <laughs> okay. So, uh, is there like a? I, I know that I can, I, it says I can teleport us from here, but I don't know if there's like a place we stand or what. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Can I investigate behind the machine? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, your investigation will yield that this panel seems to be attached underneath the metal plating. Um, it is not attached to the wall itself. How thin is this flat screen TV? <laughs> uh it, it, this. <laughs> yeah 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 it's uh i would say fairly thin th- thinner than uh most metallic things you see thinner mm. than, uh, than than a uh, uh, a shield like a simple shield oh, very impressive <laughs> what is uh, this thing it's uh i think it's how we teleport out of here everyone uh, everyone huddle up over here i'm just gonna try it skeg zeg where am i where Sh- are we shall we all hold hands He's not the one to hold hand with some people. It's all right. I'll hold you. Just grab onto my bag, all right? No, no, no. It it has to be skin. (laughs) Uh huh. Uh, Because of your successful Cosmo draw from before, uh, you were able to have gain access uh, to the same uh, interface options using your Cosmo draw uh, as you were before. You won't. You don't need a further roll for it. Okay. So we're all in agreement. We're going to option one, right? Yeah, option one. What's right. option one again? Option one is the place that something was teleported to for 50 seconds and then teleported out of. That was Perhaps in we character. should send... I don't know. Clant in first, just to make sure. You want me to go in alone? Not you, music man. Clant. You want... <laughs> I am clerked, all right? Let's just get this. This is unbelievable. I don't understand. There's nothing with my wolf. That is... How how do you... It's so confusing. All right, we're going. Everyone everyone grab on. Like, clerk D. I teleport us. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, as you mentally link in, uh, you'll receive a further warning that it is uncertain uh, that this location has been unexplored um by anyone uh of this facility it is uncharted area it is an uncharted area with no guarantee of a safe return do you oh still God. wish to continue down this route i mean that's well, every i certainly single don't one wish these to. destinations huh guys wait this seems dangerous why would we ever do this Clan's already teleported us, and we're in the process of teleporting. Or are you saying we have a no, last no, check? no? Like as he I mean, accesses it, they wouldn't it, see this. I would see this. Yes, well, yeah, it, only Clant really is the one. Uh, ultimately, it, Clant would be the only one that would choose that. I mean, it, yeah. Two is absolutely not an option. Right. Three is leaving and throwing away everything that we've done up until this point. And well, four okay. is it possible yet? Okay. The the whole chamber of the eight thing might not be as scary bad as we thought it was i i mean it's not scary bad it's simply not possible is what i saw in it Uh, they they only have two of the eight required people to go in which is its own can of worms i guess we should unpack one of these (laughs) times but i I don't think clerk would get that i didn't think i don't think he'd get that yeah the uh the chamber of the eight requires uh six uh specific energy signatures and you have two of those uh currently within this room yeah. Ah, interesting. I can out of character assume what that means, but in yeah, character, same. Clint doesn't <laughs> fucking get it at all. In so character, we I would never just see. Oh, I, we have two out of six. We can't go. <laughs> so our only options is A or C. Yeah. Right. And we all agreed on A already, even yeah. before. And well, also, I didn't all know agreed. it was going to get us killed. Well, Jesus <laughs> still doesn't know that. <laughs> You're just sitting there hanging on. 
I feel like, yeah, we were all agreed. I'm... Fuck it. Let's go. I'm gonna, yeah, we go. What if I've changed my mind? <laughs> he says like, as he's walking. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm guessing we <laughs> cut off. <laughs> as a, uh, you begin to see a rip open up within the area. I'm standing in the wrong place. As, <laughs> as, uh, as the portal begins to tell, begins to tear open into a pocket of space to transport you to where you need to go, it crackles in form unlike any other magic that you've seen up to this point. Uh, it seems foreign and, and ancient uh, in nature. Um, as it begins to rip, you begin to see uh, little ripples of what appears to be a, a station almost like the 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 cosmo mind facility that you saw but destroyed uh essentially um as you continue to just watch it crackle open um yeah so that's this en raw energy is beginning to tear over there um uh. but something else peeks through oh something that seems familiar or but at the oh. same time foreign as this ancient creature which may have been napping and sleeping between the pockets, peeks out and tears through in the front as what I can only describe is as a giant astral worm tears oh, through God. the portal. Oh, Not a worm. The destination was irrelevant. <laughs> this it was my the fault. Worm, yeah. dude. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Dead. How many times are you gonna teach you this messy? <laughs> <laughs> as it rip, it as it rips and tears oh and sunders God. and tears through the portal, it stares down at you, um, hungry for a meal, and it has not eaten in probably millennia at this point in time. Uh, you being the only bioform and being able to be suspended within this pocket dimension for quite some time. Maybe it was intentionally captured here. You're uncertain. Um, but one thing's for certain. Even though the danger is present in front of you, you still feel as if with your newly gained powers, you may be capable of defeating this thing. One thing's for certain, though. If you wish to get through the portal safely, you're going to have to defeat what is in its way and i need everyone at this point to roll initiative so i just oh, want to confirm yeah. while we do this it was this is something that like got in not from where the destination we were going to but like from a separate yeah, entry point so. like a pot like the like like a wormhole sort of so yeah so, our destination. so essentially this the, the the safest conclusion that you can come to with how this technology works is that this thing appeared uh they did like a mid transportation to anywhere if this was point a and then they just closed the, the 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 gate they closed the door so this thing has been suspended in min transport for a very 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 long time uh yeah. so now that the portal oh. has been open it is now out finally and it is ravenous whoa, whoa. and hungry guys so this, this might not actually be the one for my <laughs> Oh no! Is. This no. Just just so you know, this is not the word for my <laughs> <No>, just <laughs> FYI. I, I, I'm still for some reason skeptical, Brett, because I feel like that one would be following us still. Yeah, <laughs> just floating in space. Still fucking angry. <laughs> it's still mad. It's like your rival in Pokemon, where it's yeah. like I've gotten even stronger. <laughs> Can oh. we just, uh, guys? Do you want to just just kite it around this little column in the kite middle it. and go back in the teleport? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, just do, do the loop-the-loop. Loop. Yeah. Like, well, I'm down for that. I'm also keenly aware that we don't get many items because we don't kill many things. True. True, true, true. Yeah, all right. I, I think we should fight. But uh, it's going to be probably pretty fight. hard. Most of and our fights end initiative. with us running. I feel like we at least need to give it a solid try. Yeah, all right. Um, and it get, rolled a minus one on its yeah, initiative, yeah. gang. This guy sucks. Yeah. Well, it has a minus one, but is the roll hidden? Uh, uh one second. <laughs> oh, no, it rolled a minus one as far as I can see. Uh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> I, I, I accidentally deleted it. One moment. Okay. No problem, no problem. Oh, shit. No, it, it is a negative one. That was what it was. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not gonna, I'm wow. not like, that roll didn't count. Don't worry about it. And then it literally just. <laughs> right. D we have a throws. fat block of five turns. That's All right. A pretty good block. Uh, Clarent, the portal will be ready in a total of. 
Give me one second, please. Oh, gosh. Or, um, okay. You have three turns before the, the teleport, the portal is ready. If you do okay. wish to retreat at that point, you are more than welcome to do so. I'm ready. But, three full but, rounds. That is correct. Okay. All right. So with that, are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Yo, wait, guys. <laughs> fun, little fun thing. <laughs> Benji, I forgot to do it. Oh, you forgot to. I added you, man. Oh, I added you, man. Oh, Frank, no. could we. Do you think just this one time you could give me a W we, here? We I took the feat fucking years ago, inspiring leader, and I've forgotten to use it every time we've ever that doesn't done matter, anything. Man. That doesn't matter. Okay, I took the I took the feet crossbow fucking feet, and I don't have a crossbow. Know, okay. Like, it's 12 Not everything's gonna be a W tomorrow. <laughs> I uh, spent 10 minutes as part of your comrades. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot give you that. I apologize. Listen, you need I to spend 10 to... minutes to do that. I got yeah. something for us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Am I going first? Yep, you're going yeah. first. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to cast aid and grant 10 temporary hit points to model, clerk, and skagzag. Okay. And then I'm going to go. Clerk would get sort of PO'd by this. Because he wants to see it as sort of like a ripoff of his thing that he's never done. Mm -hmm. Like his idea was just like stolen before he ever got the guts to do it. Oh, he'd, he'd like sort of like shake a little bit. He wouldn't say anything. He'd hold his tongue on it. Uh, and mm -hmm. I'll end my move with that. That's mm -hmm. fun. Um, one second. <laughs> Yo, that guardian move would be so fucking good in this area. Yeah. Uh, yeah, is it any time it enters within 10 feet, yeah. I think, right? It lasts eight hours, by the way, too. So, yeah. So, if we set that we'll up and all these, like, around holes, around. I should do that. <laughs> It'll do I'll so do much. Yeah. I was so worried I wouldn't get to do my sneak attack shit because of my initiative being so low, but lo and behold, fucking hold, it's got a minus one. Yep. Okay. Uh, do you do anything else this round? Pekel. Uh, no, I, I don't think I can. That was my action. I moved. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that for now. Okay. Uh, Clarent, it is your turn. I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to scan this thing. Okay. For my turn. Oh, All right. Also, Brett, I just wanted to ask, uh, what is like the nature of our ability to like Cosmo Transform now? Because you explained it like very briefly mm -hmm. before. But so uh, every you time you do a successful action, uh, uh, you deal successful damage, uh, the party gains a charge of Cosma. Once you okay. gain 10 charges, uh, you can have someone transform uh, with a Cosma form uh, for a round. Okay. All right. I just wanted to like double check because I mm -hmm. can't remember. Yeah, no All worries. Right, I'm going to, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm going to do my scan. Okay, Ooh. Lil Squint, you're able to ask two questions. Uh, there's uh, an inherent uh, uh, battle tactic ability about this, uh, or you can ask something more meta. Uh, you can well, ask two. Is health. Okay, so that's the first question. I will yes. go ahead and give that to you now. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh -huh. All right, so. Give us the deets, Brad. Bring. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. That's like boss like... fight. That's like that's, doable that's boss doable. fight. Yeah. If he's not resistant the to the damage. Our yeah, resistance. Mm -hmm. Or damage, like if it doesn't uh, the same amount of damage. And you can ask a second question. Again, it could be something you, meta, or do you want to know it? Uh, it's battle tactics. He keeps saying battle tactics. Mm -hmm. I think Brett really wants me to check you battle might, tactics, even though yeah, he's never. Yeah, you should it. do battle tactics, dude. Uh, what kind of battle tactics questions can I ask Brett? Uh, I can give you the overall what how it fights. All right, give me the overall how it fights. <laughs> oh, that, that's good. That's the, no, that's important. We should do that because it might. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not goofing. I'm serious. Yeah. Right, okay. um, so, <laughs> the tone. It's just the tone. Uh, so the uh, this uh, creature essentially has two forms of combat that it channels uh, this uh, sort of like astral energy into. Um, it has two forms of combat. Uh, it has a might form and a restorative form. Uh, the might form, every round, uh, its attack roll bonus increases by one. 
and it increases its damaging abilities uh, every round. This resets if you switch it over to a restorative form. Um, in its restorative form, it gains a regeneration, and the regeneration gets stronger every round. Essentially, uh, each of these bonuses reset every time you switch their form. Uh, and the form uh, can be switched with a successful Cosmo draw. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's good to know. So right now its form is... Uh... It's might form. So every round, it's going to become more accurate with his attacks, and its attacks are going to become more damaging. Right. And restorative obviously heals him. I'm uh, yes, the restorative Probably. gives him a regeneration of, uh, of 20 HP per round, and that regeneration becomes stronger uh, every round. So it's left unchecked. How, sorry, did you tell us how to change his form, or do we? Is uh, a cos draw? You'll have to Cosmo draw. Uh, Successfully Cosmo draw. Okay. Yeah, every time you Cosmo draw, uh, you'll essentially fill up a meter, so and once you reach yeah, a certain, that's... yeah, once you reach a certain number of that, it'll force it to change its form, its battle oh, okay. stance. Cool. I would cool. say that it's definitely say. we need to move this thing away from the teleporter, regardless, or else we won't be able to leave, even if we want yeah. to before do we the, kill it. Do the Pickles kite strat? Let's just kite. Yeah, I'm thinking you want to kite it away. For now. Yeah, I'm so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take my fucking hang on. Uh what's what's thirty fucking feet? Yeah, that's about thirty feet there. <laughs> I go about thirty feet away. Uh I should be able to see him still from this angle. Mm hmm And uh I'm just gonna blast this guy, Brett. Okay. I'm gonna blast this guy with the good old fashioned the good one. Okay, I'm gonna give him the old uh level three magic missile with Fury of the Small on top. Okay. Oh okay. well, yeah. Let me uh, let me navigate over to that fucking spell mm -hmm. and click it. Five missiles. Uh, you can also do a roll of 5d4 plus five, and then we will add yeah. the, the <laughs> eight to that. I don't know yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Slash roll 5d4 plus five. Mm -hmm. right? Yep, and then we'll add eight to that. So a total of 27 damage uh, as you use within the ruler. Um, these missiles begin to pelt at the form of its astral body. Uh, its body ripples as if you were piercing through clouds, uh, but it still is definitely fully effective against this creature. All right, uh, guys, I think we're running, but not like running uh, like to get away from him running to lead him away from the teleporter if you guys are all on the same sort of page Give me voice down clap Okay <laughs> <Am I here? laughs> <laughs> Is it think banishing would work on this guy too? Oh. Probably just whip yeah. out the banish and we just jump through Fucking cancel this fight. <laughs> cancel the fight, Brick. We get no loot. We get no loot and he's gone. No I mean, I don't know if we fight to even three. win this. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. This is sort of, this is in that realm we'll of We'll see like, how much damage he does on one of us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Skagzag, it's your turn. All right, all right. We thinking fog. I'm thinking the strongest fog you fucking can, dude. But like, mm. also uh, maybe not. If we want to, I mean, I can. I depends can on power, if we want to run or if we want to fucking what, try to what, fight. What it, other than you fog, fog you, you just do damage. We don't. I don't think we need All a right, I'll do here. a snowball noob then. This thing doesn't even have eyes. <laughs> what does your What does your stinky cloud do? You took that, right? Uh oh, yeah, stinking cloud. It might have a nose. You might be able to lure it with a stinking cloud. It might make it face away. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Creature. You know, I'm just gonna. Uh, each creature is completely within the cloud at the start of turn. Must make a Constitution saving throw against poison. On a failed save, creature spends its action that turn retching and reeling. Yo, that's big. That's pretty. That's, that's good. That's really a fucking big. Yeah. All right, I'll do that one. All oh, right. Yeah. How uh, how big's the area? It is. Uh, hold on, can I just, like, link the spell? Yeah. Uh, you, you can. I'll read through it for you if you'd like. Uh, area of effect, 20 feet. So, there you go. Controlled by Crandor. Dude, Worm is, like, all knows is the thing about Worm. Mm. Uh, you go ahead and move that cloud wherever you'd wish. I mean, that's pretty good if it's in it. About, like, right here. Uh, okay. Hell yeah. Perfect. And you said I got to make a constitution saving throw? Yeah. All right. 
the DC 15. DC 15? Uh, rain, sticky cloud, <laughs> yellow, nauseating, oh, it's yellow, well, whatever. Uh, the clouds burst around the corners, heavily obscured, the cloud <laughs> lingers. Uh, also yeah. roll a d20 for me, Skagzag. Each creature that is complete within the cloud at the start of his turn. Let's make a constitution saving throw. Okay, it has to be at the start of the turn. Okay, sounds good. And then at that point, we will, I will, at the beginning of the worm's turn, we'll roll that saving throw. Uh, all right, with a two. Woohoo! Nothing happens. Ooh. Okay. And, uh, I'll move back a bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, does that end your round? Yeah. All right, Cheezel, it's your turn. Uh, or Cheezel. will, uh, I'm gonna attack. And take a swing. Okay. Cheezel's about to take the fall for the group so we know how much damage oh this God. guy does. <laughs> You're a hero, uh, Cheezel. Someone's got it. There you go. Uh, with a 13 that does not break through its exterior cloudy, wormy hide. Right, Cheezel looks at the group says. and is like, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, swing at it again. You're killing it, I can. It, I can actually do that. Turns out I can attack one more time. I didn't know that. Oh, right. really? No. Damn. Oh, uh, that Hell hits. Yeah. That hits. Um, I guess I also, because it's my long, it is a magic weapon. I, I summon a sword. Oh, yep, you do. God, I sometimes I forget how strong this long sword is over Cheezel's other weapon that he yeah, uses all the time. It's less LP there. All right. <laughs> yes. So with that, uh, you will manifest uh, a spiritual sword that will appear at your side. Uh, the sword will be able to swing at the end of your round. Uh, are you attacking with a one hand or two hand of the sword? Doing two uh, hand, I'm assuming. It's a, it's a two handed sword. Okay, you place the sword, you cleave and deal 14 points of damage to the creature. Excellent, As, now you are the sword. Uh, you can make a long sword attack now. You get gain one additional long sword attack while it's there. The 11 misses. And uh, you're that, useless. And that will end your round. Uh, model, it is your turn. Doing great, Giselle. All right, I'm gonna run 30 feet. Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna run I'm 30 a, feet. Um, yeah, because I'm a rogue. I can do um, bonus action dash, can I? So I can still do, I can do dash and my action, right? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Yeah, okay. Woo okay. Woo woo. Um, all right. It's not gone this round, right? So that means that I get the bonus of uh, assassinate, which means that any hit that I do score against the creature is a crit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's right. All right. Cool. So I'm just going to, I guess I'm just going to ping my bow at it. Okay. Or I could do both daggers, actually. That might be cooler. Uh, I think I'm going to run up next to Cheese L and both dagger it. <laughs> so you're not dashing? Is that what you've decided? Um, do you have a bow? I have a bow, yeah. I have a, Back off a and better use the bow. bow. I gave you the shitty bow. Yeah, I have you a, a psycho. Bow. Right, no, but, but if you back off and use good bow, I'm, I'm engaged. Still so I'm just feel bad. Back. Yeah, I honestly See, I'm a little like bit worried. This is like Cheezel's fucking job. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm engaged. You'll get a sneak attack. Go nuts. We don't need You're to engaged. protect him. I can always res him if, or not res him. We can always. You can't do that. I can get him up. Sorry. We can banish the worm or something. Grab him. Yeah, I can banish the worm, it's fine. Yeah, Clint can talk to dead, that's fine. All right. Yeah, we can just <laughs> talk to him. We'll carry him around like weekend at Birdies, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 19. Uh, 19 hits. Okie day. Uh, with a total oh of 16 God. sneak attack damage and four poison, uh, roll a 1d6 for me, please. It's not a crit. That's we have not... to we we have to re, we have to manually re roll that. So we yeah. will handle that in a minute. Um, go ahead, first Thank roll you, a 1d6 for me. There you go. Okay, you're good there. And uh, let me go ahead real quick. 1d6, roll 1d6. I'm gonna go ahead and roll your sneak attack damage for you, friend. The bow and the sneak attack, yeah. Yep. So it's a 5d6 plus 
Uh, oh, Wouldn't it yeah. also be acid because it's also yes, a roll? Yes, it is. I'm actually going to roll that for you right now, my guy. Oh, heck yeah. All right. So you did an additional 18 points of damage and another one point of acid. Hell yeah. So, Wait, so that's the... Sorry, I'm, I'm just checking. Yeah. So that's, uh, 25 plus an additional 19 points of damage. This includes your bow, okay, your acid damage, and your sneak attack. Yeah, I see. The, you, you put the bow and the sneak attack to the, mm -hmm. uh, together. Yeah, because it's the, it's the same damage type. Hell yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, it, you just kind of see the arrow strike through into its gullet. It literally, as it like reaches out to like bite... Uh, over uh, at uh, Chizel, the arrow just strikes into its open mouth as it hits the back of its throat. Uh, it stares at you. The puff of astral cloud just kind of emanates from its back. Uh, aware of your presence, you will not be able to assassinate again as it then continues its strike uh, against Chizel. So, Chizel. I was still running because of my dash sorry oh yeah yeah it's looking at you and you're just like <laughs> <laughs> so you're just you're like trying to get the you try to get the fuck out at that point in time absolutely uh okay just give me one second please dude time for the fucking stinky cloud mm -hmm. <laughs> all right oh, stinky yeah. clown uh, stinky clown to save the stinky. Is it no stinky clown <laughs> uh we begin with the stinky cloud saving throw uh, which this creature seems to have advantage against. Uh, with a 24, Ooh. it is no longer poisoned. It's not able to be poisoned awesome. by there. Um, so, ah! with that... <laughs> you know, Skag Zag, it was a good try. Uh, awesome. As it looks down over to you, um, as it looks over to you, Ch Chizel, uh, you kind of see these uh, tendrils dip down uh, below into its mouth as it opens up its maw wide you see these astral these sort of astral like tendrils stick out um and yeah this creature is going to attempt to swallow you in an effort to uh consume essentially uh the astral tendril will hit with a that is a 30 and uh it, it will deal as the tendrils begin to whip around 22 points of bludgeoning damage, unless you're raging. Did you switch on rage or no? Please, I'm not raging. What are you talking about? All right. And then it will also deal an additional, ooh, 25 points of damage. Uh, so down to 54. Uh, the tendrils begin to wrap around you. I need you to make a strength saving throw, please. Jesus Holy crap. Strong. A 13? Oh, boy. Uh, it yeah, will... It has me. Yeah, it begins yeah. To, to wrap around you, like... and oh. you will just see it uh, go into the gullet of this creature. Ella. Oh, gosh. We need Chizel enraged is what we need. Yeah. But I don't know uh, what actually I could pisses them piss off, off besides pick out. Um, yeah. As you begin... <laughs> As you begin to as you begin to see Chizel's form like dip and dive into the astral body of this creature, uh, yeah, it's going to continue its rampage as it goes around the corner, and it just looks over uh, at all of you, endlessly hungry. <laughs> as its echoing scream just howls into the area, uh, Pikel, it is currently your turn. Okay, I'm just gonna. Um... It doesn't look like he can fit in here. <laughs> yeah, that's the good I call. mean, he's a wormy. Yeah, I don't know. He's a wormy, um, but he's also he a 4x4 four four, uh, entity asset in Roll20. Yeah, is, is the 4x4 four four the, the coil of the wormy? The 4x4 four four is the full coil of the worm. So right, it is yeah. able to... It, it would be able to squeeze between there. Yeah. So uh, I think Guardian of Faith is a one time within a 10-foot radius so i don't think it'll continue hitting him each time it moves within it i think I it it's like if it moves out and it moves in i'm not sure mm. right uh, do you know yes uh trigger every round or? i remember doing I this before with it does i believe it does it's trigger every round as long as it stays there that is correct the okay. guardian that no. it occupies that space is indistinct in gleaming sword and shield and was in the same any creature hostile that moves to a space within 10 feet of the guardian for the first time must make dexterity saving throw the creature takes 20 uh rating on a failed saving throw is how much on a successful one the guardian vanishes after it deals a total of 60 damage so um that all I, I would also include that as if it stays in that area at the end so uh, with a guardian, do you... Yeah, let me know if you decide a guardian of faith. Yeah, I'll do that. Where do you guys think I should put it? 
It's probably gonna, gonna move. It moved like yeah. honestly, the back of it right now is where the front of it was, like just one square. So if you put it so it was just touching it, if it moves down, it's gonna at least get hit by two rounds, probably. Yeah. If we if we manage to move, and by the way, which I'm not, I'm not sure if we will. Yeah. Cheezle's inside it, and Skagzag is already next to it. Yeah. <laughs> so just I guess just touching it as as little as you can would probably be best. Okay. As little as I can, you say? Yeah. Okay. Down or above? Down, down, because there's very little reason that we'd ever be going above okay, it, right? Perfect. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go around. Hopefully this room goes can. around. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I scouted it earlier. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess barely touching it within uh, 10 feet, right? We can put it anywhere, like, yeah, like here. There. Uh, you have yeah, control of the token. Wherever. You can place it wherever oh. you'd like. Oh, nice. Uh, is this how big it is? I don't think it's supposed to be this big. Oh, you are correct. Ten, 10 feet. I'm so it's used to. Yeah, yeah. I'm so used to fog. I'm so um, used okay. to fog. <laughs> fog guess, and fireball. Well, if we want it touching it, it should be yeah, like here. Up one, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So then it's a dex save, and if he fails, he gets twenty points of damage. If he succeeds, it's ten points of damage. Uh, okay. Here we go with the dex save. As it is a massive creature, it will try to attempt to dodge. Yeah. Uh, a 12 is what it rolls. It fails, and it will take 20 points of radiant damage. Hello, okay. well, man. Hello, well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to move. Oh, we could. We should really try and merc this creature. I know. It's just too bad Cheezle's being eaten. Well, is Cheezle still able to take turns inside there? Uh, Cheezle is considered blinded and restrained as he is now within the goal oh. of the creature. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. All right, that ends my... Wait, actually, are we supposed to cause him to draw it? Is yeah, that, does that kind of yeah, it's a we, regeneration it's a free action. Oh, okay, I'll... Well, Wait, okay, if you want he, to do It won't that. be attacking yeah. anymore, which might save Skagzag from being got if you do it. Yeah. But I'll try it. they'll heal instead, which oh. is like a hard We, we, we well, want to switch, switch it like, right ju back ju up. Just, so, to re just to let you know, while it's in its might form, every round its attacks become stronger until it switches its forms. Uh, even so in regeneration form, it will still continue to attack you. It just won't be right. empowering its attacks while it does so. Okay. We yeah. don't know if its attacks are banked when it swaps forms, or does it? Reset? Uh, when it swaps forms, it drops. So the okay, empowerment immediately dips, and that includes with the restoration empowerment when you switch it back. Honestly, yeah, we probably want to just leave it for like okay. a round. This sounds good. I don't know. I, I want to will... delay the regen. I will end my turn. Uh, okay. Uh, Clern, it is now your turn. Well, here's what I would do. Okay, I would first of all. Retreat. A <laughs> nice, healthy distance. That makes sense. Yeah. I would continue to retreat. And then I would assume that my main help is less doing. Actually, I guess I could I could drop the big level four shatter, which would do a lot of damage. As much. We would pump damage, honestly. Here's the thing. Then when I we could also region, cast confusion. Oh. Which would also fuck mean? him up pretty bad. Uh, fucks with their head. Uh, if if they fail a, a wisdom saving throw, they it, have it's to. probably not very wise. Yeah, they have to take a bunch of various random behavior things based off of a D10 roll, which means it could potentially make him take far more lost actions. Like he can he can lose like three four turns of consecutive. Yeah, he might bomb me up. Um, if it goes he's L2. Yeah, honestly, I, I vote doing confusion. It's right, probably if not I that scan, wise. Can I get an idea of how high his wisdom is? Yes, you can. Excellent. Oh. I'm going to scan him. Hey, nine I'm is insufficient. I'm going to lucky that one. I don't even need to think about that one. I'm going to lucky that scan. Okay. And I'm going to do it again. Oh, we have lucky. Fuck. Uh, 14 is insufficient. I'll see you guys in hell. I lucky again. <laughs> you can't lucky, lucky. Oh, wait. Hold on. You can. Oh, I believe you, you can only lucky, lucky, lucky once. You can't do a, a double lucky, so. So that saves you a lucky, actually. That, that does save sweet. you a lucky. I'll see well, you I, I can't lucky. use the confusion without knowing if he has high wisdom. Say, actually, I mean, wait a minute. Brett, yes. before I cast my confusion, I'm going to use unsettling words on him. Okay. Uh, therefore, when he makes his next saving throw, he will have to retract whatever he gets by adding a uh, D8. He has to remove, basically, you a D8. To remove a D8 you know, from the save. Perfect. So I'm That's going really to, good. I'm going to unsettling word him first. And okay. And I'm going to cast confusion. Oh, on uh, the wait. Worm. All right. 
as you cast Confusion upon the worm, uh, you realize that it doesn't seem to be naturally resistant to poison, but all magical effects instead. Because of this, any magical effect it casts, it has magical resistance, allowing it to roll saves on an advantage. So here we go. Uh, it will roll, subtracting eight from both of those, a six and an eight. Both of those fail. It is considered under the effects of confusion. I do want to say it's not a flat eight. It is a D eight. So uh, uh, technically even, you should roll it, right? Yes. Yeah, so unless I roll. Yeah, I thought I was about to say it. Sorry. If I roll. Yeah, I don't want to just like cheese it. No, no, it's good. It if, I roll, if I roll a one, it will beat it on advantage. So I have to not roll a one. And with that yeah. eight that I had originally given it before, it is now considered confused. All right. So I can explain what this means for him now. Yeah, please. Uh, I, I, since it doesn't pull open the entire sheet for you when I cast it. Yeah, it's yeah, no sort worries. Of a little bit elaborate here. Uh, so, so confusion. He will roll a one d ten, and based on what he gets, I'll explain what happens. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep, I've got the list right here, so I'm already, I'm okay. already good to go with that. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do this round? Uh, I, I well, think I've you're... already bardic inspiration. I think I've done literally everything I can do. Yeah, you so. can. All right, Skagzag, it is now your turn. All right. I'm going to fire snowballs. Okay. Not going to also you get away you're, um, from you're in melee range. Away after. Well, you're in melee range, so like range yeah, stuff has a, a disadvantage. disadvantage. Uh, uh, if, if, it has could, an if it has an attack roll, it is has this advantage. If it's just a flat deck save, there is no advantage or there's oh. no... Uh, yeah, but it oh, will. Nice. It does have advantage on all saves against magical effects, so... Just FYI. Okay. Right. Man, it's like uh, the, uh, the reverse inevitable, dude, which I guess is good for us with how much physical we do. Yeah, um, also, that. just so you are aware of confusion, here, just so you're aware of its confusion, uh, it is unable to take reactions, which means it cannot take attacks of opportunity while it's yeah, under it's the effect of that. For a little bit. That's mm -hmm. So it's, it's actually, I think it is an area, so I should have said a, like a 10 radius circle. Similar okay. To a, uh, a honestly, go on. Uh, no, it's each creature with a 10 feet, so it's not a lingering effect. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So, you're good. Yeah, I, I want to slow it down. Keep it in the girl's thing. Get the full 60. Uh, all right. Uh, Skagzag, you still have your action that you can do and your uh, bonus action. You said you want to do snowballs? Yes. Uh, feel free to cast it and also give me a d20 for wild magic. All right. I'm doing uh, fourth level. Okay. <laughs> I think I could cheese a lot of their teeth. Uh, yeah. all right. I'm going to go and roll a dexterity save at advantage. But fortunately, again, this thing is so fucking slow. Uh, it got a critical hit, which means the dexterity save succeeds. Uh, I believe it's half for half, correct? Uh, so it will take seven points of damage from the cold. Uh, and roll it. lucky it. Uh, it's safe. Yes, you can. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, 16 is still high enough. So the lucky has been used. It takes seven points of damage. Uh, feel free to roll a d20. All right. Maybe you go maybe you do some chaos thing. <laughs> uh, 14. And I believe nothing happens on a 14. Is there anything else and that you'd like to do? For a chaos wizard, you seem to be extremely <laughs> stable. <laughs> These rolls suck. And he's getting all yeah. the good rolls. <laughs> uh, no, I got nothing. All right, that ends your round. Uh, you're the final stand. Uh, Chisel, as you're within the gullet of the creature restrained and bounded, uh, you will take 26 points as the astral acid oh. begins to dissolve away at you. You are currently at 28 HP. Uh, let me go pickle. and just pickle, double check. Throw a pickle in its mouth. Yeah. And Chisel <laughs> gets it first. Uh, right, you, can you not do anything? Like, can you not even enrage as a barbarian, or is like? Well, he—that's a he made RP choice not to enrage. Mm -hmm. That no, is correct. No, no, no. Sorry, I was gonna say. I was just just curious. Like mechanically, uh, when you're at, when at, you're restrained, is it no actions or bonus actions? Uh, so when you're restrained, your speed drops down to zero. Uh, and you are. It's, yeah, because it's not its, it's end of its turn. Uh, your CV drops to zero. You can't benefit from any bonuses speeds. Your attack rolls against the creature have advantage it, well, if you're fighting him, and you're, you have dexterity. So, uh, Chisel, even though restrained and blinded, uh, if if Chisel so wishes, can strike within the gullet of the worm. Hmm. Uh, I want a Cosmo draw. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your Cosmo draw. 
Okay, and with a 13, uh, you will actually begin to see uh, the creature begin to uh, sort of like change its color a little bit as it goes from a little more purple to a little bit of green. And I've got another bar I'm going to pop up now. Uh, as if something is trying to shift from within. Uh, you still have an action and a bonus action. Uh, you you do not have the ability to move currently, Cheezel. Uh, what would you like to do? How much do I need to grow to become Super Cheezel? To grow? Uh, currently, as far as attacks go, we've got four points. Uh, you are out of the four out of ten points for the Cosma draw. Or for the Cosma form. Great. Mm. Okay. Uh, I swing with my sword. Okay. You attack at a disadvantage because you are also blinded. All right. I will take that 20. Oh. All right, go ahead and roll. Uh, you deal 12 points of damage to it. Uh, you and begin, then... you will be, before you do that, my apologies, uh, you will begin to see the worm kind of like, <laughs> as it begins to try to heave, as the amount of damage is causing it uh, to do it. It's gonna do its best currently uh, at a normal roll uh, to try and keep what it has down. Uh, and with an 18, it successfully does so. Uh, but Cheezel now begins to shift up its esophagus a little bit over to its mouth um, as it tries to keep Cheezel down. Uh, you may continue your attack. Yeah, uh, second attack. All right, uh, that hits. Does his long sword still do his like crazy making extra swords thing yeah. while he's in there? Uh, so he can only create one extra long sword, but the long sword but that is sword outside should right still now, be outside, right? Still yeah, the, yeah. that will still be able to attack. That is correct. Okay. Uh, no, so, right. so seven, more. seven points of damage right there. Uh, let me go ahead and do a little thing. Okay. And uh, yes, so you've got the two swords. You are not raging, correct? Uh, well, I mean, no matter what, I get two attacks. That is correct. Just cause. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm checking um, your raging. And then the long thing. sword, no, I'm not raging. The okay. long sword attacks. Uh, this will be at a normal attack. Uh, it, no advantage, disadvantage. Uh, the 16, 16 will hit. That is correct. Yep, that will break through its armor class for an there additional 13 points of damage. Nice. Hey, she's yeah. doing a lot of damage in there. Yeah, hell yeah. Should have uh, this thing the first time. <laughs> because of the damage that you have dealt uh, on its own, uh, it will begin to try and hurl again as it continues to be slashed up and 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 just essentially pier pierced out through the esophagus. Uh, a 21 is still high enough. Uh, Cheezel continues to move up the esophagus. Uh, if it hurls again, no save will need to be made, as you believe Cheezel will then be immediately hurled out. Uh, model, it is now your turn. Huh. Oh. All right. Um, I would see that. It's, like, clearly writhing from something happening inside its mouth, right? Y yes, you would. Fuck. I wish I had more items and stuff. Um... How can I? How can I make a giant worm vomit? Shoot it, an arrow at its uvula or some shit? Uh, try, you can. Uh... You can make a scan Down check or an investigation check if you'd so like to try and learn more about that. Hmm. Scan or investigation? Yep. Entirely up to you. Whatever works best. Yeah. I mean, I'll do a scan. Okay. I'll have a gander. Uh, having a gander, unfortunately, a seventeen is not high enough to determine. Okay. No, no idea how I'm gonna make this thing vomit. I mean, well, just doing damage is good. Sticking, right now. yeah, sticking like a long stick down something's throat probably gonna make it yeah, sticky. I that's could probably good. reason that. Um, all right, I'm gonna shoot. We probably also want to Cosmo shift him again uh, to regen as soon as possible, so he doesn't regen. He'll switch back to might, which means he won't be healing. Oh, is he in regen? He's in no. regen right now. No, he's still no, in might form. Him. Oh, I yeah. thought we switched him. No, you did not. I thought, thought Cheezel switched him while he was inside. Oh, no, he is He is shifting towards that, uh, but you oh, still have to do more Cosmo draw. Oh, he shifting. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's so yeah, the, yeah. just so you know, the bar, you have to reach a certain amount of Cosmo draw to force him to shift. Oh. Yeah. Right, okay. We need to be doing more Cosmo draws. Yeah. Um. All right. Um. Can I action, uh, no, sorry. Can I bonus action tie my fucking bag of ball bearings to an arrow mm -hmm. and fire it into its mouth? Uh, you can at a higher armor class since you are pin trying to do a pinpoint attack. 
Okay, shit. Well, I'll try. Okay. You got this. I'm trying to make him vomit. Uh, a 13 oh, no. is not high enough. Okay. Sorry, Cheese Ale! Just uh, scatter a bag of marbles on the ground. <laughs> also, I don't know if you... Did you do the, the attack with the sword? Just checking. Uh, yep, we did. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, um, well, that's... I'm just going to fucking bolt. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, trying to, like... <laughs> Oh, look at, oh, that's a premium mass that I have to like buy marbles. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, so, and I'm just gonna. Yeah. Oh, Maybe oops. we'll trip on the marbles. Let's, let's smile. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, okay. Uh, it is now the creature's turn. The creature uh, will continue its movement. He's got confusion, right? Take oh, wait. First. That's right. I apologize about that. Um, so that happens at the end. So we roll a d10 to see what happens with the confusion. Yeah, my apologies. Uh, here we go. So the following will happen uh, with a five. Uh, the creature doesn't move or take actions this turn as it continues to five. daze and spin about. Uh, at the end of the round, uh, we will have to make another dexterity saving throw uh, against the shield. Failing at that, taking an additional oh, oh, oh. 20 points of radiant damage. Nice. Woohoo. Hell yeah. Good and uh, he will gain a wisdom saving throw in an attempt to break out of the confusion. Uh, and will successfully okay. do oh so. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, the 27 on the end. Fuck. That's cool. All right. He's wise as fuck. Uh, dice, dude. Just just like before, uh, will continue to bolster its uh, a damage ability as well as ability to hit. Uh, Pikel, hey, it's I'm currently your turn. Yeah, I'm worried about him too. I, feel I can't like you got do a anything... to regen so it does less damage. You know? Yeah. And I can't do anything to heal him unless I can see him, unfortunately. Yeah, everyone basically is coming around his corner uh, and cause the draw so see him. What if you lucky use wisdom save? I think you can only lucky, lucky your own other stuff, people's right? stuff. Yeah. But you can uh, you can lucky someone's attack on you, right? But I don't know if you can lucky. Yeah, save. you can't lucky external things. Uh, uh, we just did that before with the confusion. Uh, unless it's there. Hold on one second. You have three points whenever you can attack. You can spend one lucky. You can use this ability after the original roll, but at the end, you can choose which of the d20s is used to attack or ability check or saving throw. You can also spend one luck point when attack roll is made against you. Oh, and that's it. Yeah. So technically, okay. yeah, and that's my my fault. So he's going to remain. He The confusion's over anyways. Uh, we did do a lucky for confusion Wait, before. Wait, no, we did the lucky for the scan, which failed. Oh yeah. The lucky on the oh yeah, yeah. So the lucky on the confusion before with that, uh, you you couldn't do before. Oh, that was bardic inspiration. Yeah, no, no, that was you're for right. the scan. That was that, wasn't, that was, a, that good was my bardic yeah. inspiration. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. We we're yep, yeah, we're green. We're green. We're all green. But yeah, you I'm can't. I'm a gamer. You are <laughs> a gamer, my friend. Um, Pikel, it is still your turn. Okay. Um. So do we want to cosmo draw it to get it to we, regen? I think we need to. Okay. I think we have to. Yeah. Okay. That's the only way to reduce his damage in there. Try to do that. Uh, okay, uh, you will continue to draw it as you do so. It will begin to shift more into a hue of green. Okay, and then I will do a guiding bolt on it. Okay. Uh, the, the 11 will not hit. Yeah. Um, okay, that's fine. Okay, does that end your round? Yes, it does. Okay, Clarent, it is your turn. How do you guys feel about the double confusion oh, wait, rapid fire move. machine oh, gun? No, no, sleep, Clarent. Uh, feel Clarent free to move. The play. You, uh, you think, you think this hasn't started his turn yet? Play? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we could roll that high to make him sleep. Uh, it would actually. be impossible. I can't. Yeah. I literally can't do that. My real options here is another confusion, which I think is way more potent than me doing a shatter on him, frankly. Because the maximum I can do on Shatter is uh, Honestly, yeah. 5d8. Yeah, Confusion's, confusion's, confusion's good, in my opinion. has the better potential to be better. Either way, first I'm going to Cosmodrom. Yeah, yeah we oh. want to reduce his damage right now. All right, so the uh, two bonus effects of uh, the attack stack that it had is completely removed uh, as, and I will also flip him to represent this, uh, he goes into a regenerate, regenerative state. 
Uh, so his attack bonuses has uh, has been removed. Uh, he is now within a regeneration state, gaining regeneration on his turn. His okay. Cosmo Meter will drop down to zero. We should, yeah, we should immediately start building it back up. Yes, everyone should be yeah. Cosmo drawing on their turn from now on. Just do, um, oh, stop it, yeah. So is this regeneration an action that he will take no matter what? Uh, the regeneration will go off. He will just go there, but he will not be increasing his damage output nor his ability well, to hit. I'm curious if like uh, regeneration was something that co like confusion would affect if you were to roll like no regeneration. Action, no, yeah, no. regeneration's a, a passive effect, so even when okay. confused, regeneration will still happen. Right. Okay. Uh, I honestly think, guys, our our ability to beat this guy boils down to how alive Chisel is when he comes out. Because yeah. um, if he comes out, uh, this is my last confusion cast I get. Yeah, all right. That's the only thing keeping him from killing any of us right now. <laughs> Where's Cheezle's turn? What's Cheezle's turn on? Cheezle's right uh, Cheezle's the after Skag Zag before model. Okay, I'm gonna cool, I'm gonna do another lap of unsettling words on him. Okay. For the 1d8. And I'm, I'm gonna go in for the second round, baby, because Shatter is nowhere near as helpful as confusion in this scenario. I'm gonna cast it again. Oh, yeah. Uh, so with the 22, we will reduce by 1d8. That's a 1 with a 21. Oh. The confusion oh. fails. Fuck. We gotta run. It's not what we wanted. <laughs> it's not the result we, we wanted. We can't beat this guy. He does way too much damage. I'm gonna start. One more lap of turns and we can leave. Uh, we need to. Uh, that guy was like able to basically right? one-shot Cheezle. We, we gotta, yeah. Yeah, we gotta get without my out. Without having confusion to like slow him down, we can't beat this guy. Uh-uh. Yeah. Skag, what's your ice magic doing? Uh, my ice magic is... It was a poison to, to take waste of turns. I did it earlier. It's, uh... Eh, 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 eh. Eh, 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 eh. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> eh, <laughs> eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Uh, when you cast a spell using a spell slot, the, the fury of magic snowballs erupts from a point you choose from within range. Creature takes 3d6 cold damage. Doesn't Half as anything. much on a... Or a full damage failed save. Half on a successful save. Shit. It's just damage. Fuck. Yeah. I don't think we have any way to slow it, really, then. No, we just gotta run. What, if we get around this corner, poison. like where me and PKL are, we have done the three turns required to leave. True. So right, but we have to get to all the way back up to the top, and we also have yeah, to get Chizel. There's multiple yeah. panels. They all, I'm guessing, do the same thing. Uh, what I'm about is, dominate is the portal still beast? there? The portal's not still oh. there, but I can reopen it. At I'm assuming any of those panels, they're all the same. What about Thank dominate you. beast? Yeah, what does dominate beast do? Uh, it's. I don't think. Oh, is uh, it a beast? Uh, you can read it's it if you'd circus. like. Um, yeah, exact. Uh, let's see. It's pretty long. You attempt to beguile <laughs> okay. a beast that you can see within range. It must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be charmed by you for the duration. If your creatures are friendly to you or fighting, it has advantage on the saving throw. While the beast is charmed, you have telepathic link with it as long as you two are on the same plane of existence. You can use this telepathic link to issue commands to the creature while you are conscious. No action required. While you are conscious, no action required, which it does its best to obey. You can specify a simple and general course of action, such as attack creature, run over there, fetch that object, etc. Uh, the creature completes the order and doesn't receive further direction from you. It defends and preserves itself to the best of ability. You can use your action to take total and precise control of the target until the end of your turn. The creature takes the only action you choose and doesn't do anything that it allow. Uh, during this time, you can also cause the creature to use reaction, but this requires you to use your own action as well. Each time okay. the target takes damage, it must we take an it. saving throw. <laughs> okay, okay, so it. At higher levels, you cast a spell fifth level slot duration crash 10 minutes. So you use six level <laughs> slot duration. This is it. So it, I think right at the start you said something about how it has advantage. It's gonna have if advantage. It, if, it's gonna have advantage, and its wisdom saves are out the fucking wisdom. ass. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, the only way we're beating a wisdom, by the looks of it, is if I had unsettling words on it before. I mean, you, and even then, Skagzag, you do what Skagzag would do in that moment. What would Skagzag do? I'd probably try to dominate the beast. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What if it gets double ones on advantage? Yeah, that'd be bad. Um. Okay. Are you attempting I mean, to dominate the beast? <laughs> yeah, the <opposite. laughs> I thought you were saying, "What if I got double one?" No, 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 no. Are you yeah, casting the spell? To... Okay. Yeah, I'm a cast. Here we go. 
uh, with a 22 uh, as you attempt to lock into its mind. I'm gonna, uh, well, wait, I can't lock you at all, man. Yeah. Uh, roll a d20 for wild magic, please. Wild magic might be what saves us. All right. Oh, uh, no, no. Nothing, yeah, nothing I'm happens with the 12. I'm gonna wild magic. All right, roll a d20, please. <laughs> so good. Hey, you rolled a lot. Hey, this is like playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You gotta, you gotta Cosmo draw. By the way, I don't want to tell you to do it. Oh, end of turn, Cosmo draw. Yeah. Please. All not. right. Yeah, I'll Cosmo draw. Uh, twenty nine. Holy pretty, crap! Pretty good. Pretty good. Finally. All right. Does that end your round? Uh, wait. Can I still move? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, wait, should I follow you guys or like go a different way to trick what it? What does Skagzag do though? In this moment, what does Skagzag see in his one good eye? Uh, I'm probably still going this way. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. No uh, at the end of the round. Part of the skag. Uh, at the end of the round, uh, Cheezel. Will oh take God. 32 Fuck. points of acid damage. He's sound. And he is knocked unconscious. Fuck, it is now do? Model's turn. We ha you have to. If you banish him, will it send Cheezel with him? I'm worried about that. The body? Yeah. Cheezel's fucked. Maybe. If you can't banish him, he's fucked. We are not. We uh -huh. can't beat this list. Cheezel is currently a part of the worm, which means you banish the worm, you, you will also ban all Cheezel. You banish the worm, what you the banish Cheezel. What do we do? I'm going to look at um, my spells just in case there's something I'm missing. I don't have anything to do. Fix this. Uh, to Aside from, the the, I have actually one thing. I could universal speech talk to the worm. <laughs> <laughs> and we could try to reason with it. But yeah. we're talking for negotiation. You could, can you could say it, something that makes it sick. I can make it 45 pounds of food if you convince it that it doesn't want to eat us. <laughs> <laughs> we can make it food. food. We can talk to the worm. May as well talk. Or... We are. We it's are so hungry. So he, Brett awesome. said at the start, it's so I fucking ravenously hungry. I can make food for hungry. him. More food than what we weigh, probably. Yeah, we could, we could. We could do the the Bilbo this... Baggins talking <laughs> to the trolls situation. Yeah. It's just like this. Not like something we opened with, and not like. Hey, sorry for half killing you. <laughs> hey, yeah. listen, <laughs> there's my friend. There's a lot, lot of anger going on in this room. Yeah, time out. Uh, I'll try it, but I gotta wait for my turn to do it. Yeah, I mean. Model, it's it, currently your turn. It's, it's my turn, yeah. So, I mean, Model wouldn't think of any of this stuff that's all in Clarence's brain, so Model's gonna... Can I see it from here, Brett? Because I can't technically see the edge of it. Uh, if you see the edge of it, then you can see it. All right, I'll just ping yeah. off a... I'll just ping one of these little bad boys off. Okay. And, and cause my draw it. A 22 hits. Um, also, roll a d6 for me, please. Uh, with 27 points of damage... and two other sort of regurgitations now on its third one uh the unconscious body oh of Cheezel will oh spray out onto the floor along with a viscera of sick and vomit and i see it oh yeah i mean he just he literally tumbles out and is now on and is unconscious oh god follow me right, guys go right. negotiation plan <coughs> follow me i don't have time to think i'm just gonna dash all right hold on you. 30 gets me there, or there. I can get into melee, so it's not going to hit Cheezel. And I mean, I don't think it's going to hit Cheezel again. I'm going to stand in melee, right? I'm going to run. This is I'm going to yell. Yeah, well, I, I feel like I have to. If hold, you, on, I mean, hold on, hold on, hold no, on. you super don't. My turn is coming up. I can run here and heal him yeah, from here. You going in there is going yeah, to it, guarantee it's, it's turn you. next. It's going to hit think Cheezel it's gonna and kill Cheezel? him. Yeah, he's going to uh, die. Uh, uh, Okay. He got knocked unconscious. He's, if it's a successful hit, he's gonna. If it does more than his HP, he's dead. But if it's a successful hit, it's gonna be two death saving throws immediately. Yeah. I don't want to risk that. I'm gonna run yeah. in. I'm gonna run in and hopefully backflip death. <laughs> and hold it in this thing so it's taking more damage. Still. Yeah. Hot right, damn. Dash Hot no, damn. Good job, Good job, model. All right. Um. So I still have a, um, that was my bonus section to dash. Can I take the defense position, Brett? 
the dodge uh, one or whatever it's called? Well, you've already spent an action uh, to attack. I, I shot, yes. And then I used my regular movement. I haven't used my bonus action. That is correct. So you, the only thing you what can do, you do with first? your cunning action uh, is, I believe, dash, disengage, and hide. You cannot use the dodge action. Okay. Can't use the dodge action. That's valid. All right. I'm just going to take a hit to the fucking head then. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm just like holding my arms in the air saying, eh, eh. Uh, does that end your round? Yep. All right. Uh, yeah. the creature, uh, will look at the sick covered, um, the sick covered Giselle. Oh, um, right, can I, can I, sorry, can I cause my draw as well? Yes, you can. Uh, it hasn't sorry. done its action yet. So yes, you can. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, you're all good. Don't apologize to me. All right. Uh, as it continues to shift back into its purple form, it looks over at the six co sick covered chisel. An easy meal, but a disgusting meal. We'll, meanwhile, a tasty morsel has just rolled into existence. Uh, so, with that, it is going to uh, once again attempt to uh, grapple you with its tendril. Rolling a 23 to break your armor class. It definitely breaks my armor class. Wait, what? Okay, let me read all my dodges. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Yep. Uh, it will deal. 12 points of bludgeoning damage not and bad. and dot 28 uh 11 points of astral damage so a total Don't of 23 points of damage points okay so I'll, oh, yeah. I'll use my reaction to half the damage oh okay uncanny dodge. Nice. okay so um, that lowers you down to 23 20, 11 uh which means you actually only take one point of damage uh for, subtracting from the temporary hit points Yay. So, well, yeah. yeah, so you're at 71 and um, make a strength saving throw as the tendrils begin to wrap around you and this creature oh, attempts to oh, swallow no, you. No, no, no. Damn, I wish that was a deck saving throw. Fuck. Uh, with a 19, oh. you manage to fight the tendrils back as it whips back into its maw. Uh, you are standing for now. Yay. Holy fuck, Pico, get here now. You on uh, my way. Uh, with that, uh, the worm begins to regenerate its health in its regenerative stance, healing for 10 HP. Uh, Pikel, it is now your turn. Dex save but from the worm, please. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, this is the last mm -hmm. dex save that it can make. It succeeds, uh, I believe, so half taking damage. half that. Yep. And the shield is still up because it has not dealt 60 points of damage yet. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to pop off a... Level three healing word on Chizel. Wait. Okay. Would it, What's up? I think it'd be safer to try to banish it. I, I have that. Out. I have that spell slot still. Um, oh, I could that, do it like right now, or thing? I could heal. It's hmm. it's a level four spell slot. I think slot the banishment is safer three. for both stabilizing Chizel and also keeping Model from being. Well, he has to make death saving throws is, though every round, right? Yeah, and also banishment is a minute of concentration on Pikel, which and it's can't, not like, guaranteed either. It's heal. charisma save. Yeah. I don't know how charismatic an astral worm is, but all I'm saying is you might not be able to heal Cheezel while you're concentrating. I feel like right? we should stabilize Cheezel just so he can get out of range, and then I can banish if we need to. Charisma is not only diplomacy, it is also innate magical ability. Okay, good to know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Usually, Very yeah, charismatic yeah. worm. Yeah, suddenly <laughs> healing worm. So are we going with the I try to talk to the worm play? <laughs> it's a, it's a try a to play. talk to it while we run away. That's one of our plays. Remember, yeah. I, I'm I'm currently evasion tanking right now, but I can disengage and sprint oh 60 God. feet. So it's yeah. Fucking world of Warcraft. All right, I'm yeah. going to healing yeah. worm Giselle. Uh, you heal for uh, Giselle heals for 15 hit points and he is back up. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Um, and then, let's see. Uh, are we still Cosmo drawing it? Um, yes. it's about to swap, isn't it? We can see this meter building up. So, is so I guess if you do it, then it's going to swap. Do we want that? Well, it's going to heal, but I think we've all sort of accepted that we cannot kill this thing. Yeah. Okay. So I, is now. I won't Cosmo draw it then. Yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I guess um, leave it. Okay, that's the end of my move. All right, Clint. I can technically see him from here, but I feel like if I tried to hold a conversation from this angle, it would be both incredibly rude and sort of just <laughs> weird. It's not for coming. Yeah. I mean... So I'm going to come over to here for this. Okay. And I guess I'm 
I guess I'm gonna fucking use universal speech on the worm and try to talk to it. Uh, any chosen creature uh, that I choose can magically understand you regardless of the language you speak for one hour. Uh, meaning that they can understand whatever it is I say. Mm. Here we go. Hang on. There's possibly another thing I can do as well. You know, so, uh, Brett, but just while he's checking, um, did you, on the start of the worm's turn, did it take damage from being in the thing? It did. It took 10 points yeah. of damage. Okay, it succeeded, sweet. but yeah. All right. I guess I'm, uh, yeah, that's, that's the, this is the game plan. I'm going, <laughs> all right. I'm going to try to talk to it then. Okay. Quarant is not very convinced this is going to work, but it seems like our only play. Excuse me. Worm. God, worm. Uh, it will look at you <laughs> as its ball stares over to you. I'm shocked that you can understand what I'm saying. Oh gosh, but you can you not understand? We, can, we can't. We don't share a language. He can understand what I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, is how it works. It's, yeah. So effectively, it can understand what you're saying. You don't know what it can uh, say. Can you can you give me a nod if you're listening to me right now? A little nod. <laughs> It does not nod. <laughs> Listen, all right. I'm I'm sure you're hungry. We could tell by the way you immediately tried to eat us the second you came out of that portal that we so politely helped you out of. We can both agree that we've already done you a favor. Now we can do you one more if you don't eat our friends. This small little goblin here can create you a much larger feast than anything that we're worth. Isn't that right, Peacap? It's a very big feast, more worth than goblins. She's talking very about how big cool. the feast is, much more Biggest worth than goblins. We only... Make yourselves yeah. look small, everyone. Make yourselves look really small. We, we only attacked you to defend ourselves, but now we see that the two of us are both victims of the same people. We don't like the people who live here either. We, we're trapped here too. <laughs> You trying what to persuade saying? this worm? It continues huh? to it it, beca it it continues to it, do just ma make these gurgling sounds over to you. You're uncertain what it says or whether it uh, acknowledges or agrees to you. Can probably I probably wants like a, probably like wants insight? Food. Anything I can do to try to gain any sort of context? That feel, if he's getting what I'm saying, uh, they know he can understand me perfectly. Uh, feel free to make an insight check. I will allow that. Oh man, gang, you know what I'm not good at? Insight. You know what I have? One more fucking charge of lucky, baby. The oh my oh. god. Oh. Oh. I've oh. never succeeded a fucking insight roll. I don't think this entire campaign. Yeah, I mean, you might just assume then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're gonna need to, you're gonna need to give me some sort of body language. So I can know that we're on the same page here, all right? Uh, it, you know be how to like... it begins to stand up, uh, hitting its head against the roof as it opens you, its mouth. Is small. that a nod? Is that you want, you, want, you want a lot of food? You want food? As uh, a, a, a bit of acidic saliva <laughs> begins dripping from its exposed maw. He wants food. Pick out. Make food. It's good. I can make food uh, soon. <laughs> but Are we in initiative, Brett? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. In a, in a minute, once Pikel's ready, she's gonna make you some food. You just have to wait till then, okay? And promise you're not gonna attack any of us. I swear that you're gonna get a lot of food at the end of the- <laughs> Or we all just not gonna attack him until we give him I food. mean, if we he doesn't hold attack action us, to I, I say we all hold reaction. action to Pikel and we yeah. Yeah. wait. Yeah. All right. It's his turn before Pikel, which is kind of fucked. Uh, yeah. Clurnt, you still have a bonus action and movement relate. uh, remaining i'm oh man uh i would fuck there's not much i could do that wouldn't come off as sort of antagonistic in this scenario when i'm trying to seem cool you know and relatable yeah. to the worm trying to be a cool guy here try not to harsh the vibe <laughs> yeah. uh be wiggly just wiggle i'm just gonna like sort of hang out and wiggle yeah 
Yeah. I don't really have anything that I could do that wouldn't be an attack, like an attack thing. I am going to, however, someone? I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to inspire. Uh, to us, me to not die. Or I, I mean, not you die. are. She's looking. I'm hit probably once fine. I'll back you. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Fi I don't need it. I think you're in a lot more. I think Cheezle's in a lot more danger than you are. Yeah, frankly, Cheezle. Considering he just got, he just got up. Therefore, is probably more of a target again. So yeah, I'm gonna use inspiration on Cheezle. Okay. Uh, and that would end your round. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, just continue to nod and give thumbs up at the worm. And I know he gets what I'm thinking. <laughs> like we're on the same fucking wavelength right now. All right, Skagzag, it is now your turn. Uh, uh how can I help him? Uh, how can I help out. this worm out? I think, I think we're all just hanging out. Yeah, we might just uh, hold turn. And and honestly, anything you, you guys does. do that aren't me could totally set this guy off. Right yeah, now. you guys could right. hold action until to, if he attacks, then you could pop something off. Yeah, I'll just hold. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, Cheezle, <laughs> you are back up, covered in sick. Uh, but you are now awake. You blacked out for a moment. Uh, what are you doing, Chisel? Uh, Chisel, um, looks at the creature and then looks at Model. And is like, you've got it! And runs this way. Oh, thank <laughs> fucking god. I was gonna scream. <laughs> uh, Model. He's in the bathroom, so I think he would just also hold action. Uh, Bree, can you go ahead and roleplay Model? Oh, okay. Well, uh, guys, what should I do? <laughs> I Marta, what's wrong with your voice? <laughs> Why are you talking like that? <sighs> well, Clark, I just... Uh... <laughs> oh, well, Clark, oh, <laughs> it, you know what it is. That's what it is. Bread pudding. Oh, my God. That was oh, really fucking good. Right right out there. Just That's... buy some more time, and this worm's going to be this worm's gonna be literally eating out of our hands. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fucking amazing, Crendor. Um, I feel like, Thank well, you. do you... What, Crendor, like... are you talking about? <laughs> so fucking good. I feel like he would either disengage and run back or hold action. He would probably disengage. If he I'm would guessing. definitely disengage. Yeah, yeah, disengage and run back probably. So, like, because it would also make the worm believe that we're cool. Yeah. If we're not staying in melee yeah, yeah, range. Yeah. See, we're okay. all backing up. We're all yeah, backing up. Everything's fine. And also, my guardian of faith will not attack if it's not hostile. So. Okay. And as long as we all stay cool, I that peed. glowing thing is good to do anything oh, either. I did right? your move for you, but you now that you're here. But that's fine. I peed. What did you do? What happened? I, uh, I did your we voice. We disengaged you and ran back. Thanks, gamers. That's exactly why I would have done. Uh, there's no problem. <laughs> yeah, just don't no the problem. Uh, that's what I'll say, <laughs> You all did my voice? Uh, I don't want to yeah. talk about it. Uh, so, with that, I need to roll an insight check on the worm to see if in its hunger, it would allow you to feed it. Or, if in a blind rage, it wouldn't trust any of you, I continue the easy, delicious feast of gobbies. And I am going to be making that roll next Yo, week. Thank you so much uh, for playing. Oh. We'll see oh. you guys next week. Yes. Thank Yay. God. That worm is rolling out of its mind. Maybe its luck will fall off. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. We're already we're already past time, and, it, and, and I didn't want to push it any longer for you all. So, uh, yeah. yeah. We'll leave it on a we'll leave it on a bit of a, a cliffhanger and see what exactly happens. Um oh, yeah. The worm, the, yeah, the worm will either acknowledge what Clarence kill said. The worms? Every worm we fucking fight is like yeah, it's, it's just so fucking. Pathetic. You know what I wanted to do? So I wanted to shoot an arrow and clip Cheezel, Cheezel inside, and then revert him to Cheezel like an atomic bomb inside, and just see what happened. But it would have never been, really got the opportunity. I mean, he would have immediately started using a worse weapon. For no, he doesn't have that weapon. I've got that. And he would have probably used his bare hands. He probably would have bit into the creature, yeah. <laughs> Killed himself. 